It is uh, Lord Haywire. I am streaming some Stellar Monarch 2. I was going to stream this next weekend, but then I didn't like the games that I had available and I wanted to play this. Uh, so I, I actually played this for five hours. At least that's what Steam says. And I, I like this game, but I do have a lot to say about it. And if the developer sees this video, I just talk this way. Don't don't get upset. <laughs> I just checked out his Discord. He has uh, he has regular updates like every three months or so. Uh, so th these, this game and his first his first Stellar Monarch, he's still updating, and he also has some other games. Um, so what this game is though is you are not you're you're running an empire, but you are not micromanaging pretty much anything, uh, pretty much anything at all. You, you you just want you kind of pretty pretty almost exclusively deal with the court you can set some some goals and there, so there's a lot I like about this game but there's also a lot of stuff that I feel is missing in the UI and we'll get into this uh, these are the different start things enlightened ruler is the recommended one and this a uh, four I was thinking about going up to five because it was really easy uh, score I don't really care about the score uh, but we're gonna do standard we'll do normal and we're gonna do young empire so there's two two options here is this you start with the Terran Empire because you're the Emperor uh, the the Terran this is very much like do the, the world of dune uh, it reminds me a lot of the world of dune um, except there's no spice uh, but and there's spaceships okay the world no not mech warrior just a world with an emperor, <laughs> a bunch of space stuff, similar to Dune with with royal families, a space royal families. Uh, anyway, so there's there's the old empire, which is the recommended thing, and that's what most people I noticed because I looked up videos for this too because I was wondering if I was missing stuff. Uh, that's what most people play as. This isn't a tutorial, by the way. There are a few tutorials out there. This isn't going to be a tutorial. I don't want to do a tutorial. Um, I don't really do tutorials. It's more like a review, but I am going to explain what I'm doing and I'm going to go over everything that I've, I've seen. Uh, I I usually stream for about three hours. It is 10 o'clock. I have to get to sleep at some point. I do have to work tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I really I want to play this game for more than than. So every time I've played it so far, it's been just little chunks, like 30 minutes here and there because I've had other shit to do. So I would like to sit down like tonight and play it for as long as I want, but you know, fucking jobs and shit. Anyways, there's Old Empire, which you have several star systems. There's already mega cities, me megalopolises. Uh, you start out with trade sign, whatever, or Young Empire. So I'm gonna do Young Empire, and the reason why is because I really like in strategy games, especially 4X games. I guess I didn't mention this is a 4X game. To start out with nothing and then grow from there so i'm gonna do young empire and there's some extra rules you can put in but i'm not gonna do those we're not gonna do those and then we're gonna just gonna have the recommended balance stuff so this is gonna be pretty pretty standard start except for the young empire and we're gonna create a dynasty and we're i'm gonna i'm gonna be somewhat critical <laughs> once again um this that doesn't mean i hate the game i actually like this game so far from what i've played uh so you can put your royal royal house here and we're gonna do haywire I, I said in the description uh, House Harkonnen because of the Dune thing. Anyways, and you get to pick your sigil or whatever it's called. This should be bigger. This is my first credit. Why is this so fucking small? <laughs> I mean, I know why it's so fucking small. It's so fucking small because it's it's this is this is in the the you know this in the game. This is the size. So we're gonna pick a sigil. I actually really like this laser pistol one. Like you're just you're that's your imp your empire of the gun. Uh. Unicorn's always good. A spider, a flaming sword. You know, you got some stuff here. You got a lot of choices. Let's go to the pistol one just because I like that one so much. And let's do, I did red last time. Let's do like something crazy that stands out. What was that green? Well, yeah, let's do this green. This is the, then we got to pick the haywire, the, the haywire's name, the emperor's name. And we're going to pick it Lord because I'm very original and I'm going to be middle aged. What does old give me? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. I don't actually think your guys die. <laughs> I've, I've only played to like turn 60 or something. But maybe it gets harder from there. So I'm going to do some... Oh, man, I kind of like that that bookish looking dude. Oh, he's gone. Oh, there he is. No, uh, no, I don't know. We'll just random it up some. There we go. All right, I clicked, I clicked the button. Um... 
Is there not that many options? I didn't click this many times. I don't want to be the... Well, I guess I could be that guy. Oh, hide my baldness, maybe, and that could be me. Uh, then we get to pick perks. You get a lot of perks. I get 10 points. So these are your dynasty perks. I'm always a big fan of tax, getting more taxes, uh, improving research. That's two points. Uh, ground combat, I've never lost, even gotten close to losing a battle. I, like I said, I've only played up to like turn 60. So we're going to try to get past turn 60, like in the first hour here. Uh, tax collection, diplomats, doesn't really seem to do anything. Trade, we'll do trade. We'll get some extra trade. I like that money, and I like that research. <clears throat> and then we can do hardworking, uh, additional plus one emperor focus point per audience. That would actually be, that's like the one, when in my 60 turns, that was the one uh, resource that I was actually kind of running low on was those. All, I have three points left. We're going to do... This one, all Imperial officials start with more loyalty. Sounds good to me. Let's start the dynasty up. Oh, you can also start start out with more stability, but I never had any problems with stability. This is a significantly harder start than I got last time. Last So last time when I started, I was just in a big empty area. So let's go over what this shit is. And I'm going to try to go fast. And, and, and when I do my actual first turn, we'll see it. Um, so this is your centralization. I've never had to, anything to do with this, but we'll see eventually. You get, you know, like if you have three, you get imperial institutions, events, and whatever. This is your stability. This is pretty, pretty important. It's how stable the, the empire is. This is your rebels in the empire, which currently the empire we have is just on one planet. In my mind, I envision that uh, we were once a spacefaring race, I, and then it collapsed, and now I'm the emperor of just Terra, and we get, we need to to move out from there. Uh, we have a population. This is our population. We have uh, five billion people. This is how happy they are. This is our treasury. This is our private treasury. This is the points, the focus points where I said I had ran out of those. Uh, this is our admin points. Like I'm just, I'm just telling you what they are. Uh, they're sometimes used by different names in the game, which is, makes it kind of confusing. Uh, these are your heraldic bureau, where you can give titles to people. We have 38 turns before that will even do anything. And these are like your passing laws points. Uh, so th these two are kind of like for doing doing legal change, or sorry, interacting with your court. And then money, obviously, is money. Uh, we'll go over here. This is your empire tab which is weird you, there's an audience like every seven turns or something where you have an audience with your people is it every seven turns uh, that's the grand i think it's every seven turns uh, but you have an audience with your people and that's like part of the like the main thing with the game this is your court this is your ministries these are like the people who do things for you these are the people you've uh, you've assigned and if you look you can see that these are there's different houses which we'll get to these are the laws. We can't do shit with that. And this is a summary of everything. These are the noble houses. So this is my, the royal house haywire. And then these are the different people that are the different houses that are for or against me. And it looks like most of them are kind of, kind of against me. A union means that they're going to be, they're going to just, from what I've seen, they have, they, they are, they're like married to me. We're allies. So we're, we're not, there's not much that can, that can hurt that relationship. Then we have a great council, and they they vote on laws, which hopefully we'll get to that too. Well, we have 38 turns. It's only 38 turns to that, so it shouldn't be that long. Uh, then we got our finances. I'm actually going to turn this down. I like to turn everything down at the beginning, and if you put a, it's 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 just like every other yeah, 4x game. More population tax. They're less happy. They're going to be. Um, I just wanted to check something. Yeah. Um, Industrial, you know, it's less happiness, and then you also get less budget for local. So your local, your planets are ruled by local rulers, and they do all the work. You don't do anything. Um, so by putting it low, that means that they build stuff slower. And so we're going to get a balance of 1500 which is pretty low to start with from what I've seen. Then we have these things here, which is the budgets that you're putting towards your different uh, you know, the army, the fleet administration, science, like it's, it's all the, like the standard stuff. I'm going to actually turn this down one and put, uh, you know, we could just leave it like this. 
We could also get two points and put some more to the fleet. Because we are surrounded by slugs. That's what those are. Uh, let's do this instead. Let's put army back and let's put administration so we can get this tax. Uh, the tax bonus because we're going to want, we're going to need some money. So you might notice, so this is one of my my first pet, pet peeves about this game. When you change shit, none of this changes up here. And nothing that you do on your turn changes up this stuff up here, which I find extremely frustrating. And I think that should be something he should immediately fix. <laughs> um, I know the game's out and it's not an early access. It's considered like done, but he's still doing updates. When you change shit, it should change up here. Like, so you have to keep track of things you've spent on your turn in your fucking brain. And you, and you know that there's no, there's none of that shit. Uh, so where were we at? Trade. This is the money we're getting from trade from the, so we know that there's a bunch of aliens and shit already, already around us. We just have only one planet. Let's hope we don't get shellacked here. Cause we, like I said, last time I started out with, uh, like a buffer zone. This time I'm surrounded by slugs. Um, so where were we at? We were in finances, research, obviously is research. And we're going to, we're going to go over that. This is like the buildings that you build in your empire. The whole, this counts for the whole empire, uh, which is weird. You got rare resources too. And then we have projects, which we'll look at later. Uh, we're gonna, so I'm just going to jump through this stuff. This is like your military. I know I was kind of going into things, but I'm going to do my first turn. And during the first turn, we're going to go through all this stuff. So this is the, we have a shortage of ships actually. Man, this is a much harder start. Did I change the difficulty? Uh, this is the much the hardest start I've gotten so far. These are the ship designs you have. These are the squadrons as in how many uh, like groups of ships. So this is like, this is one, this is this type of squadron. It has an emperor's fist, it has a guardian and it has a falcon. And they're like, this, this is how old they are. And each turn is a year. And so these ones are going to be shittier than these ones are the, these ones most likely we're going to get a new squadron in two turns. That means you don't get a squadron of like guys that just pop out. That just is a new squadron that starts filling. Um, we actually don't have any in storage, which is even more bizarre because normally you have a stock stockpile of storage. Well, it'll be fine. We'll try to pull it, pull our ass out of the fire here. It'll be fun. It'll be more exciting than, than not doing it. These are all the different alien races, and these ones, you cannot, you're always at war. There's no way to interact with these guys. And at first, I, I, I really was like, man, I do not like that. And then after I thought about it a little bit, I, I was like, I kind of, like, as I played, I was like, I kind of do like that. So, I like, when I play a video game, and I've mentioned this before, like, I tell us, especially 4X games, I, like, tell a story in my head. And so I'm imagining, like, you know, uh, what is the name of that that movie uh, where there's the bugs and the uh, starship troopers? So like we're on this planet, I'm the emperor, and we just have these foes, the hive and the slugs and the cyber march and the mechatrons and the spaceborn and the arachnids. You know, we're to, we're just always gonna be at war with those guys. So that like that's it changed how I like started. So I had to, just had to change how I thought, and I was like, I kind of like that concept now. You know, like. These are the people you want to be at, you know, you're going to interact with. You got the major races and you got the minor races and you're going to like do trading and stuff with them. But these guys, you're just always at war and they're at war with everybody. Uh, and you can tell down here the different races. So they, these gray ones, we don't know what those are. These green ones, these are the slugs. They're fucking everywhere, man. Look at these slug fuckers. They're everywhere. These guys, we don't know. Oh, this is the hive. Is this the hive too? Oh my God, the hive's everywhere. All right, so that's that's like the the one of the things. So don't think of this game as like think of like almost you're the 40k emperor. <laughs> I'm, I'm throwing all these different references. You're the 40k <laughs> Dune space worm rider. No, you gotta you gotta think of it like don't think of it as oh my god we only have 25 ships. All right, that's gonna be tough. Um, don't think of it the the way of like absolute don't think of it like other games and that's kind of like why one of the reasons why i like this is one your turns are really fast i know we haven't done shit yet but your turns are really fast and you're kind of just keeping things together but at the same time it does have some issues i think uh but anyways so we got our turn let's do it well and let's we're, we're done with this this is just some this is how you win and we're we're not gonna win right now 
Uh, these are the different houses. You can click on this to go the, to the Megalopolis. And this is our, this is Terran. And we have Jacob Moore as the government. And I am obviously the ruler. And we can summer the government. So you don't, like, once again, you generally don't manually do anything. You just summon people and say, hey, go do this. Um, there are a few thing, exceptions to that rule, but the general gist is you don't really do anything. So let's do my first turn. Let's The first thing I think we're going to want to do is pick some research. And one of the things I noticed when we were looking through this, if we look at our industry, is we have 48% food coverage. That means only there's only 48% of the people are getting the food that they want. And that's because we're just one planet and we suck. So let's see what, if we have any options here. I think one of these will give us, well, there's only one option there, so we'll just select that one. Will give us some food. These are almost all ship stuff. Happiness plus one, processing efficiency plus 20%, hunger stopper enzyme. So what that's meaning is this, this efficiency will go up 20%. I know you're like 300, it's already 320%. What the fuck is 20% gonna do? It, it adds up over time. And at first I was like, that's that's a dumb research, but it totally adds up. So don't worry about that. Uh, then we have like trade efficiency and we have base, these little triangles, see where it says plus five stars or stars, triangles. Uh, that's put out down here and it's, it's just like an abstract number. I mean, it's probably means something. I don't give a shit. We just know that it's putting out. If you want more shit to put out, research this thing. <laughs> so we want more trade efficiency or we want base city output or we can so both of these are an option but this one you know gets better like who the fuck would ever pick this this gets you that and that you know what i mean so we're gonna pick that uh we're gonna go back here because i want to look at something we're gonna look at our aliens and there's a way to look at maybe it's under it's under here trade so these are the the how much cash we're bringing it nurgle the nerd um this is how much cash we're bringing in and so we're getting 344 bucks we got 50 percent of trade efficiency and so we're actually only bringing 172 so we're not getting very much trade uh let's finish up this research let's go back to here so i can get a prototype or moderniz modernization points or fast fighters point defense so well let's do this one because we're going to be in the shit really fast uh let's do what for electronics we can have xeno modernization prototype uh ship modernization and another blueprint this is electronics i feel like i had different options i think you get different options every time you play which is kind of cool maybe you don't but i swear this was like a higher ranked one before uh and I have a bunch of modernization points, which are like, they're like, you can buy perks for your ships. And recon. Corvette, we get support style design, I guess. I don't really like any of these. I uh, will do this one. Maybe I just got like lucky before with the, with the, th with the thing. Um, so, and this is how you make, make more, like improve. See, this would get in increases your your base base efficiency of the research so it actually happened to land it, it randomly selects this i know that it actually picked what i want for right now because we need fruit enhancers really bad and i'm gonna put that down to two boosters theory of energy theory of energy is always there combat support ships local economy let's so let's put a point actually let's put this down and let's put this up to here so that, that you can't turn off this last one 100%. You're just going to get 100%. So we're going to get a bonus to these ones. And ruins give us bonus, but Terra, Terra doesn't have a, a ruin. Uh, so we did our research. Let's now go to our ministries and let's take a look at these guys. I know I kind of jumped through with these guys. Oh, these guys all suck. <laughs> okay. They don't all suck, but they're pretty sucky. Uh, let's look at our court. Is our court full of suck bags? Um, oh, we do have a nice spread in the last game. Like the blue guys didn't have anybody in here and I, and I was trying to be fair the blue guys and it just wasn't working. Uh, so this is your court. This is another thing I have to complain about. So this is an order of your court 
courtier the courtier's influence is how the, the order of this this thing what what happens sometimes is your minister will be way down here i think this should be organized in, in a different way um i have a lot of like small nitpicks but these are your guys right you have advisors i don't quite know what the advisors do i think they probably give you some maybe will tell me let's click on this guy um i don't know what they quite do i just kind of ignore him oh he's pretty good so let's find our best person so we're gonna do a little how many points do we got 160 so that to move these guys around you need these points so we're gonna rearrange our court if we can this is the best person it's this blue person and they're neutral so we could try to and they're also so if you see the uh if you hover over this we'll we'll just click on them <clears throat> and they have some stats here uh they have this is how many squadrons they command this is their income this is their personal income and i actually am a little i don't know if they ever do anything with their personal income because it never i noticed that it that they always they just have like a shit ton this is the you know whatever uh but the main the main and oh it doesn't show it on here well this is their opinion of you but what i wanted was see where it says authority and monarchism so this is another issue with this game and it's like a huge issue and we're gonna we're gonna see see me doing this a bunch trying to find the information that you need um so this is this is i guess it's this down here too but this is a and this is another weird well we'll get to that it never like this whatever we'll get to this i guess it's down here authority in monarchism this is how much he's into the monarchy and this is this is you know how much he's in the empire and this is how much authority he has and so this is their whole house and i so i think this is what i think and these are his little people but it doesn't say who these people are and if you click on them it doesn't say who they are like it just says he's a member of the house um we'll get into everything that i i have so many so many criticisms but also so many things i like about this let's look at my house so back to this it doesn't tell me who the fuck these people are and at one point it said my niece in a game and then it said like this person was my niece and i was like what but here's my house we have 34 authority and authority is like the the mo most important part, part basically from what i understand so if you i'm slowly going through these so you can look like as a you know and i don't know what order this is in either i feel like this should be in an order um but like this guy's got a high this yellow guy has a bunch and this guy has a bunch so it seems to me that those are going to be my two biggest threats uh like this purple guy only has 25 and it says if you hover over this it says the voting strength in the great council which happens every like 30 turns or something and then their maximum uh commanded squadrons so this guy can vote for well i mean that's me uh, can vote for stuff in the great council which we so if we look here we can see their their points so this is a good place to look and they're going to vote for laws and stuff when laws come up everyone here votes with these numbers so this is the thing you want to you want like this guy if he he's neutral we probably want to get him on our side so that we know that we'll always have 37 votes added on to our 34 and this person is the union person they're always going to vote with us from what i understand like i said i only played 60 60 or so turns i just didn't want to like fumble through this game and read all these tool tips constantly uh more than i am doing now uh so anyways we know that we have like whatever 70 points that's not 70 but it's close enough and so we want to get these other people on our side to vote on our way that's basically this is that's like the main point of this game um we have a okay that's just the news from the start so anyways back to our ministries these are just some douchebags no they aren't douchebags these are just some guys in the different houses and it shows their house right there and also it shows like their bonuses that they get but the main thing is we want to have their competency this is not now see these things change all of a sudden actually let's go back to this real quick i know you're like just get to the point you fucking idiot uh, these other people these points are added to your authority and this is how much they like you um i don't know it like you is not the right term 
Members of the House contribute authority and monarchism stats to their house. By granting honorary titles, you can increase those values. So, here's another complaint I have. Explain what authority and monarchism are. It should be. It should explain that in this tool tip. You're like, well, what the fuck is that? You can go elsewhere and find it. And I can't remember where. I looked all over and then I was like, wait, here it is. I found it. Uh, maybe it's under my thing. Here we go. Views of the no nobility on the monarchy, feudalism, and, and aristocracy. High monarchy means the house contributes to the stability of the empire and overall has the higher, higher opinion of the emperor. So we want everyone to have a high monarchy and low authority to a point. These people give us their authority. So anybody in our house, we want to give, they're giving them their authority to us. But we want, so all of these other people, we want them to have high monarchy, low authority, and we want to have the high, that's like the, the goal here. Of course, it doesn't show their monarch their monarchy thing here, just their opinion of us, um, which is another thing. So we got to also b balance their opinion. So that I think it should show like their monarchy. Maybe it doesn't apply in this situation, but anyways, this is we we already went over that. But what we got to do here though is we got to go. We have our court, which is this thing. We got to put these our ministers. This is the minister of treasury, war, internal affairs, all this shit. It shows what bonuses they get, and so this person has a twenty four point eight six and they're gonna save us that much money so this person's actually really good and they're in a really good spot this is the chances of having a good event versus a bad event so it with this person as treasurer we're gonna have 95 percent but look at this fucking shit bag over here this person's terrible <laughs> they're absolutely awful and we can fire them or we could swap them with this person this person doesn't do anything they just sit around on their ass so what they're like a good place to stash people you just like stash a shitty person over there and you can swap these guys uh right they're both equally shitty though we got a bad hand we got a bad start uh so they're both equally shitty so we could so if of the of the shitty people for them to land Dip diplo diplomats it's not bad for this the foreign affairs person we're gonna, we're gonna have foreign affairs we're gonna have very very few it's gonna take a while for that sh shit to have effect so we're gonna we're gonna have that guy he's actually in an okay spot for being so shitty this person in justice is not look at all these these are their perks um He's getting a he's getting a total of fourteen point six nine. Is that what this thing is? Level of mint, yeah. Oh, he's he's not getting us as much corruption. And there's corruption is shown somewhere. I can't remember where. Maybe it's under here. I don't look at it much. Corruption eighteen percent. Holy flying fuck! Yeah, we need it. We need a better guy there. So back to our. So I also have a problem. <laughs> so many problems. I I don't like how these are i feel like these are i'm always clicking the wrong one and i'm having a hard time like why not just put minister ministry up here and court up here like why why just over in this little corner like why have these here it makes no sense to me like why have these important tabs underneath another tab so there's a lot of extra clicking in this game uh if if you like well we'll, we'll continue but like i i know i'm being very critical and i'm not trying to be a dick it just there is like I think like I often say there's like so many games of, or this game has potential like a ton of potential and it's like could be incredibly awesome but it's like held back by a few things and I if you're into like hands off 4x where you just sit back and you're the king this is probably the game for you but you know you'll you'll see a, skip ahead an hour and we'll be to some action <laughs> it's gonna take me forever to even finish my first turn there's a lot going on here. Anyways, what the fuck was I doing? Go to this ministry. Uh, so I don't think I have the points. I'm just going to click on. So I can transfer for one of these things and 50 of those. So I could trade him somewhere else. And where I would stash him was right here if this person was better. This person sucks, though. Um, so what does it cost to fire somebody? Yeah, we need three of those points and 200 of these. We get 40 a turn. 
So we'll we'll be able to fire someone. But the, so let's say we fire this guy though, we would only be able to replace him with this guy. So we we're gonna have to hold on with these ship bags. Uh, this person. We're going to need a war guy, and so we'll leave him there. In fact, this is how it's set up is like the best we can do right now. We got a really shitty hand. Laws we can't do anything with. Summary, whatever. We can look at that later. Uh, so we are now to our finances. I already kind of jumped over this. I'm just going to have this set to that. We're going to make very little cash, but that's just how it is. Uh, and this is how much cash. I think I already pointed this out. Uh, this is how much wealth each each person has in there and i really like this 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 part is like another thing that i really like about this game so the feudal economy uh the feudal economic dir directorate has shares so it's like you have shares in a company and this is each each house has shares and and occasionally they'll ask the emperor what do you do you want to disperse more shares do you want to take some shares away and you get money based on how much how many shares you have so like here it says income from my shares is, uh, is plus 350 whoops i moved in a little bit and then for my rank i automatically because of my rank i get paid 160 bucks and then my income total was 517. Uh, i guess i don't have any fifes now i guess i don't get fife stuff yet or here um fife's income Rank, five or er, Fed shares. I guess this is all of the income split. Total income. Yep. So the total income from the fiefdom is split amongst this. I actually would never really paid attention to that very much. I just would look and say, okay, I get. I'm getting. You know, I would hover over this thing and be like, I'm getting fifty for five hundred bucks a turn. And like I said, this is my personal money. We don't need to do anything. We already turned this low. We already did research. Now we could construct something if we had any money, but we don't. Uh, we don't, this just tells this, and then we have these re, these projects, and this is another weird part of this game. Most things cost like resources that your planets make. These just cost straight up money, and I find that weird. I feel like this should should take um, this should take money and resources, but it just takes money, so whatever. That's fine. It's, so it's going to take a thousand bucks a turn and it's going to take 50 turns. We currently get 2000 a turn, which is great. So we're going to start in an industrial complex. What an industrial complex does is it, it gives you plus three triangles and the manufacturing cost of ships goes down. So we're going to do that. It's going to take 50 fucking turns, which is like an eternity. Uh, so then we have our military fleets. So we're not going to do anything with this shit. Uh, we can check so I, this is like the area that the fleets protect and we're just one we're just one thing oh wow they have this weird setup i kind of changed my around maybe we'll change mine around right now i did mine like uh i did mine like this i did one on each side so the, so there these are the sectors that they operate in uh and it will make more sense once we get when we, once we start clicking on planets uh, well, this is all sides are taken then I did like this and then I did like this and then this guy we can just keep we can just keep him at the center and we know that the slugs are the southwest and the southeast there we go and so these these are your different fleet guys I don't know you could probably do something with this <laughs> I, I never fuck with them I occasionally like through I raised a guy's a guy's uh, um, rank so now we get to look at the map. You're like, this This sure took a long time to get to the map. All right, so what we have here, you, you notice that we haven't gone to the aliens. We're gonna go to the aliens in a second. So we have Terra, we want to expand and we can click on, you can click on, and remember this is like you as the emperor saying, you know, go do this shit. And, oh, we actually have a fleet here and here, like just cruising about. Uh, so we're, we're going to just say, hey, claim this for the emperor, man. We own this shit. We own this shit. And I'm not going to start a war. We're already at war with these guys, so they're going to attack regardless. But they, they might not attack us right off the bat. And I'm going to click on this thing, and I'm going to click this button here. That means the defend order. Uh, maximum defense priority. We want to defend fucking Terra. And then, so this is the center sector. So if we go back to this fleet... 
thing, wherever it was. Where the fuck was that? Squadrons. Fleets. No, it was squadrons. No, it was fleets. It was high command. Like, I can never find anything in this game. Uh, no, you failed me. No. Where was it? How did, where did I get to that? I was there a second ago. Um, <laughs> was it here? Here we go. That's this thing. So we have three guys, three, and it shows how many ships they have, which is a significant, a very little amount set for center. So they're going to operate in the center sector. These guys are going to operate around the outsides of the center sector right now. Okay. There's another thing we got to do here too. Actually, if we go to here, this is how much you want to, uh, like re put put your offensive di you know power towards fighting them so we want to do like minimum power difference of 300 against the slugs i want to make sure we win anything we can against the slugs so i'm going to bump that up to their border priority i think right now we're going to get fucked by the slugs so we're going to set that up the priority on the border we're going to fight against the slugs slugs is our whole thing this is how many crew guys you or their skill level total crew we have 750,000 crew and you also have some like weapons of mass destruction here never used them maybe I should start slinging them out of here because Terra is going to get attacked if if I get like wiped out on the first turn then we'll just we'll just start a new game and I won't go through all this shit again one of the questions I keep having in this game is how many it says total crew but like there's is a weird active squadrons here we go crew required yeah like how it's a weird like how many it, it's the total crew I currently have how many could I make like how many how what's my am I making them how many do I get per, ter, per turn it's very weird uh, so our shipyards currently put out 32 ships per turn so we we should be able to you know start building up our, our stuff here as long as the the things don't fuck us uh, anyways we're gonna try to make these into outposts that's the the whole point of this why I selected those we're gonna turn those into outposts this one's pretty good actually uh, and then once it's an outpost, we have one colony ship and it doesn't tell you that anywhere But you have one colony ship to start with and you can use it to colonize places It sure would be nice if it told you in that would if it also told you it was idle uh, So I think we actually might be done with our turn. We got that set. We got the defense set Jacob Moore, he's pretty confident 17 is pretty good uh, We don't we only got four grand. You can also build buildings on places, but we don't have we don't have the money right now we're going to be bringing in a thousand dollars a turn not that you would know because i changed some settings but it, we're going to bring a thousand dollars a turn and then this we're going to still bring in 500 so this is the main so we're going to hit in turn here i i might have forgotten something but one turn of forgetting something isn't a big deal in this game that's it that's the turn their turns are very quick uh every turn you get an exploration you can also tell where you want to explore um and you can jump to them. We had nothing happen on that turn. We can you can click this button to get back to your, your I was gonna say your house. Um, do we want to explore one of these places? These are all slugs. And there's uh 1.4 uh, billion slugs here. And they so slugs also generate toxic waste, biohazard waste where they live. They're biohazards to us. It doesn't look like to me. Oh, there was something I forgot to do. Uh, there was something, or there's. It doesn't look like to me there's any th places we really need to to explore. So we'll just let the auto explorer do its thing. So the now the next thing we need to do. So it looks like this is going to be the area we're going to try to take over with outpost. Uh, is who are these guys? If you hover, oh, the cyber march. We need to find some allies. I think. Um. Those are slugs. We're just surrounded by slugs. The pesky slugs. Vix Collective is pretty close. It looks like that's them down here in this corner. These gray guys? We don't know who they are. We could try to an explore priority, but I'm not going to worry about it. They're too far away. These are the hive, I assume. Yeah, that's the hive. I can tell because of that. Um, what are these blue guys? The Thal Republic. So if we go back over here, we're going to go through all the, well, the empire. We already know who they are. Uh, the arachnids. I wanted to go to these guys. It skipped to the arachnids. Uh, so this is where you set. If you look at your diplomacy, 
This is so this is remember that minister that sucked. Oh, this guy fucking sucks too. <laughs> Below any standard. Can I fire you? I can't fire him. I wonder if there's a way to fire him. There's a way to remember there's that summary. No, it doesn't tell me. I uh, I guess I guess I can't fire that guy. Cause he fucking sucks. <laughs> I started out with just a bunch of shit bags. Uh, can I do anything to this guy? I can't do anything to him. Minister of Foreign Foreign Affair competency bonus is it's so he gets like he's a, at a three. Wow, what is his? He's a diplomat. What's his? Adrian Cooper. I don't think he hangs out. All my I I really on my other game. All my guys are great. Uh, he doesn't like hang, hang out here, does he? Because if he does, I'll fucking fire him. Like, look at this piece of shit. Can I fire you? It's kind of expensive. Um, man, everybody sucks. I got like a terrible roll, but that's okay. I like I like you know the 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 difference. I don't think you can fire that guy. There are some, which is fine. There are things that happen that like say, do you want to look at the diplomats and stuff? Uh, anyways, let's go back to this alien. And so under this, and you can click find the home world and it will bring you to their home world. So like it brought us to there. But anyways, we are currently set to uh, peaceful coexistence. And this is you adjust this to be what, what you want it to be. These guys are kind of close by. Let's try to do a military alliance with them. And then let's go to the next guy. We're just going to set all these guys. Where the fuck is this guy? He's way over here, this cat person. Uh, let's go trade the call confederacy where are you you're also all over here let's go cultural unification sure <laughs> see this is one of the issues I have with this game is a lot of this stuff doesn't matter okay this guy's right next to us let's go military alliance and this guy look David Clark he looks like he could live here now and this time uh, he's a, he's okay. Uh, peaceful coexistence with the Zibble. They're also right next to us because we're the center of the universe. Um, let's go military lines. So once again, this doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to do anything. It's just that's what we're going to go for. Like th that's what our diplomat here, Harrison Young, is going to work towards that. And these are the treaties and the infiltration. Like our espionage just does shit on its own. Everything Everything in this game just does shit on its own. That's like kind of the whole point of the game. The tall Mac. You're kind of far away. Let's just do a trade trade alliance. It doesn't seem to re like I don't there's aren't ships like moving to you. Nergs, Nurgle. Uh, let's find his home world. He also is right next to us. See, so yeah, we're like right here. When I say right next to us, they're pretty close. Let's try to go military alliance. And that's us. We're back to here. And then the rest of the aliens, we're just they're gonna be at war with forever. Uh, we got 200 points. I need. I think we're gonna need 300 to be able to fire one of those guys and replace them. So, anyways, that's the end of that turn. Now, we if you click this all button, it shows everything that happened. We got some more exploration. We, I know I clicked that last time. So we are to the audience, which is just the beginning of the like the basically the game. But let's check this. Uh, we got a new squadron, and we also, people are, get, we're getting attacked in Terra. We have 77 sh uh, ships here, and these guys have 36 and 36. Let's see what the battle, yeah, so we killed 12, and they killed 13, so that's bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Was that at Terra? Yes. Okay, so that was at Terra, but look what happened. They also have moved ships here. This is in the northwest quadrant, so those fleets can go over here and fight. We don't, we have like a really crappy number of fleets. The one thing that I noticed though is remember we were trying to put make an outpost here. If we take this, the outpost will already have been built by these guys. They build it immediately, so it's kind of a benefit. And if we look down here, it shows how much how many ships and stuff they have. They ain't got shit. We could also, if we wanted to, just say fuck it and go to war. And one of the things you can do is click this button and you can just say claim all frontier planets of this race and boom, we're just going to claim everything. Let's just fucking go. <laughs> I think that's the best option. I was going to try it and hold there, but fuck it. Let's go to war. 
I mean, we're already at war. They're slug people, and they're attacking Terra. We can't let that, that happen. Anyways, back to this all button. So this is another complaint I have. You're constantly having to click this all button. Like, so I just want to get back to the audience. You click here, then you also have to click here. There's got to be, like, put a no notification, like, right here that just says audience, and it brings you straight back to here. So we have an event. There's a musician. What does he got? Where are the space band called the space band? All right, so there, here's another another issue I have. These event, there are very few events. I think there's probably like 20 events. There's so few events that I've gotten the same events multiple times in 60 turns. And this event, I think I've gotten every time I've started. Like not at the same time, but a different. So I, he needs to add like another 200, 500 events. Like they're and they're very like this is weird. Uh, so anyways, this guy he wants to we're expensive we are quite expensive, but hey, we could uh, who want, wants a banquet with that high quality music? So there you can organize these banquets and they kind of like bring. I don't know. I did it once and I wasn't that interested in it. But anyways, so we can pay this guy and he'll increase our banquets grand grandness by two. We got eleven, well almost twelve hundred bucks. We can throw this guy on the ground. Throw one coin on the ground and tell him. <laughs> I'm a fucking emperor. I'm doing that one. I'm going to do the dick move. I'm throwing the coin on the ground and telling him. I don't know if there's going to be repercussions. So that's another thing I'm not quite sure about is that like the do the events continue. Look at this terrible piece of dog shit. Um, a, a very polite alien reporter asks what your majesty thinks about various races in the galaxy. Oh, this just means what they're suggesting. Um, and he's, I'm proud to be of the Terran race. I think all civilized uh, races should share scientific research so they won't get 100, 100 research in a random field. Uh, we, get, we, we all can be friends except the hive, of course, so we would get some bonus, some bonus how much they like us. Uh, 10 diplomatic influence that's this thing no progress over all okay so that's those those little bars so this is a, this is the issue let's say you want to look at one of these things you go over here you have to click over here you have to click on the fucking race it's talking about these things this is what it's talking about you get a 10 to that so now we're done looking at this we can go back but we're back to here so then we got to click this then we got to go to the audience then we got to go to the audience the information you need to make this decision oh it says it's a good event i never even noticed that it said that up there uh, the information that you need to, for these decisions should be on this page you got plenty of real estate you know put it over here and show like the races or you know make it so that you, when you click here it's not a trial to get here and then you have to go back i mean you can close that there are faster ways you know you can close that and there and then go to there but while you're in an audience, it's like there should just be another thing. And maybe there is. I've noticed new things this time when I played it. Okay, so uh, we can all be friends. I think we can help the backward race is, so that's all the minor races and our military. Uh, so this cuts down on rebels and I haven't really talked about rebels. Each officer has a 50% chance. So rebels are a thing. I've never had a rebellion yet. But so what happens is these, so every turn we're going to get three rebels. And when it gets to 5,000, there's a rebellion. I believe that's how it works. Like I said, I've never had a rebellion. Uh, and these are telling you like the different things that are the possibility. Like if we had a higher stability, we would get more or less rebels. If we have the court, the Imperial court, because those people suck. Uh, well, no, it's our stability is giving us less rebels. But if we had a higher one, it would give us more or less uh, Imperial Court is giving us less, and there's there is a possibility for the noble houses to support the rebels. Um, so those are all the things you you have, and this is another weird part that I that I and he does this a lot in this game because this is just one guy. Um, so you see how it says modified by Minister of in, uh, Internal Affairs, and it's a percentage, and then modified by noble houses, and it's a percentage again and the rest of the numbers are just numbers. I feel like that's weird. And there's a lot of times in this game where there'll be a list of pluses and minuses and some of them will be percentages and some of them will be numbers. So I think what it should do, so 
I think what it should say is the percentage, but then also have the number or the number with the percentage in the, like a negative 21, you know, in, in, it shouldn't be a percent, a straight percentage. Cause if you're just glancing at it, you're like, okay, I get plus 15 from that nine, negative 21 from the ministry affair, but it's not negative 21. It's negative 21%. It's just so like the consistency of, of having numbers versus percentages. Uh, like percentages down where it says the noble house is supporting rebels plus percentage like that's fine because it's in a whole different section but it's since it's in this i'm very anal about this stuff if you watch my other channel when i'm programming and that's all i do i like fix lines and stuff i don't actually program it i just i'm just sitting there rearranging lines anyways we don't want these rebels to get up there so this one it would actually take 50 off of our rebellion total that one that 1200 up there which is kind of a significant amount and we would have a 50% chance for each officer, except for political officers, to get a plus one loyalty. We want them to be loyal, you know? But let's think, this is actually a, a pretty good, I don't think I've ever gotten this one, so I, this is a new one. Uh, we can get one stability, we're gonna get our, we're gonna fix our stability other ways um, through our happiness, because we're gonna fix our, our fucking food issue. Random research. Minor races, I don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck about that. That one's kind of good. That one's kind of good. I think I'm going to go with the Rebellion one. Let's keep the Rebels down. Once again, this doesn't update in real time because fuck you, right? <laughs> That's what the dev said. Fuck you, player. <laughs> God, the dev sees this. The poor guy. Uh, all right, so this count has something. We have... Armistar star think that i would be in our mutual best interest if our houses become closer kind of like a noble alliance of sort what do you think so i've always gotten one of these on my first my first thing so we can get some authority we can so he's gonna he's saying he's the red guy uh he's got a 33 authority once again so i guess you, i guess you can see here but then actually the like says i want to be uh, the orange guy. So let's look at this guy. He's got a 33 authority. Like, like I said, once again, every, all the information should be here when you're making these decisions. Um, okay. So I got, so house Armistar gains political ally of the Royal house. So that's their political agenda as I haven't really mentioned, uh, right there. You see where it has those three different people. That's what they want to do. And so, you know, we're, we're union with these, these orange guys. So we don't give a fuck what they want. Uh, but these other guys, we probably want one of them. That to be one of their agendas, uh, is to remember these guys are pretty, let's go back to our, once again, let's go back to our court. No, our ministries. No, we got to go to here. Let's see. This is the, no, it's this one. And then we, no, it's this. <laughs> This is easy to look at their different numbers. So really blue, orange, but there were a union with those guys. Blue and yellow have the, the highest and they're neutral. Blue would really be the one we want to court. Court as in try to make out with. Uh, date. The, these ones, I think these ones would be the, the one. Blue, we really, I think we, he's a duke too. Uh, we might, I don't know if you can assassinate people. I've never had it. I've never gotten that option. So once again, back to our audience, audience, uh, who do we have is him as an option. We do. All right. So then that's going to make the red guy mad. I mean, we are, he has a grudge. So grudges are these things that make, make their, their max opinion. It lowers their max opinion. Uh, this guy's got two grudges. We might be able to clear those off once we get some money. But let's have Blue try to become an ally, and then the, we'll piss off the red guy. And we can pick... So think of like D&D &D when you pick like a dump stat. We can also pick a dump house, and we just dump every all the shitty stuff. We just fuck that guy. Every time, every time we get a shitty decision, we just dump it on some fucker. And we haven't picked who that's going to be yet. It's probably not going to be Blue, but let's see what Blue says. Uh, we think our voice is not heard loud enough in the Empire. Therefore, we file an official request to grant us some special prerogatives that will help us uh, denied. 
he gets a grudge. We don't have enough money for this. We could do it, but we would have negative 750, and I'm not fucking doing that. This also gives him a bunch of authority. Uh, he gains a grudge. So these are the blue guys, by the way, that we were going to try to court, as I was saying. <clears throat> he gets a grudge. So we could do this, and he's just going to get a grudge. Negative 30 opinion penalty. So this one has it. This tooltip explains what that does. Each grudge causes negative 30 penalty and reduces the maximum allowed relationship by one tier, but never below. Uh, anti anti <laughs> Sometimes I can't say words. Antagonistic. Uh, you know, we might want to turn him into the dump guy at this point. I just said, let's make an ally, and then we, we have to do this one. Um... Maybe I should have done this one first, but it, I was just going down in order. Regardless, we got to get a grudge from this guy. So I think let's if we're going to shit on somebody, let's shit on him hard. That would weaken him across the well, or we could just we can get rid of a grudge later. So, OK, we'll just say denied, man. D denied, buddy. Uh, this is the yellow guy, orange guy. Uh, there's a terrible accident. So you've gotten this one multiple times. A, a yacht full of noble born collided with a passenger. The people are very angry. Representatives of two houses were present at the time. Investigation who was all right. So there's two people who were there. So this is gonna they're gonna get a grudge depending on who I pick, or I can say hey fuck you both. Uh, and it was no one's fault. I'll lose uh, stability, and then the, the rebels get plus 500. So that would be a terrible one. Uh, this one also would be terrible. Both of these would be terrible. And so we're going to pick somebody. So we got to either pick orange or yellow. Isn't orange to the union? So we could dump on orange. And because I don't think the unions can be broken. Maybe they can. But we'll, we'll dump on orange here. So I think what you can. So my theory is, like I said, I only played 60 turns. The union guys are like set. They're always going to be on your side. But then you could also pick a dump guy and dump all the other stuff so that. But I think I'm gonna, uh, yeah, let's let's see what happens. He has authority. Well, the problem is, is that we're losing authority. We want him to vote. And that's taking less, that's getting rid of votes from us. So what about this yellow guy? He's pretty strong, but he hates us. So let's dump on yellow actually and gain plus one favor. Yeah, we, he's already gonna vote with us, but yeah, let's get, let's dump, I hope I click the right thing. Now yellow, says my liege it's uh Matus gerson from house gerson i have an urgent financial need um we can give him a two thousand bucks we got 1200 almost we just can say no or we can give him so he's already got a plus one to monarchism this is the guys we just fucking dumped on to i think let's go with the 50 50 chance or we could just tell him to fuck off Let's go with the we got we got we got enough, and then the finally we have a spy master spy reporting. We found an interesting trace of of some secret of House Rivoli, with additional funds we can pursue the trail. So, this is one of the things that I don't understand at all. If you hover over this, it will say that they they have secrets, and then if you can find a place, it will tell you that like. The secrets are used by your spy master. It doesn't explain that. And I tried to Google it. There's no like good explanation anywhere. But I just know that we probably want more secrets for House Richtvich, whoever that is. Uh, that's this guy. He's uncooperative. So yeah, we want to get some secrets on this dude. So we can use, we can do a, um, like a public search for it, or we can use our secret cache. And I'm tempted to do this one, but you know what? We just spent some money. Let's not blow all our money at the beginning. So we'll get one secret. And I, like I said, I don't, it's... Oh, right. Nothing appears until the next turn. I don't know. All right. So we can close that. We can go back to all. We already looked at our space, our space things. Uh, audience, we had that. We already did all this. But I did want to look at our squadrons to see how... Uh, what we're doing here. We still have this shortage and we're going full out war war uh, This is the new one that we got and if you look see it's got uh, different ships So it's gonna have a different fighting ability and you can click on it and to get you know information About it or hover over I guess 
Uh, so basically, this is going to be the best one. This one's 32 years old. And I really like that. You know that? <laughs> Here, let's bring another book into this this thing. So it's Dune 40K Foundation. So you know, like in Foundation, at the beginning, there's all these megalopolises, like the, the main place, which I can't remember what it's called. The, the capital of Earth is, is, I don't think it's Terra. I think it's some other place. It's just one giant city. Um, and they have all these like, big moving slow ships that's what in, in the, some of them are like hundreds of years old that's what we got here we got 32 year old ships and in, in of this group and it's got you know 197 uh and it's lost three combat ships you know and then we got 397 of these guys that are 22 year olds and you know they finally started making the emperor's fist class which is like a battleship so, you know, like in my brain, when I'm playing this game, I'm imagining me like sitting on the, not me, <laughs> sitting on the throne, you know, looking at like, oh, look at the, we have 23 squadrons being made, you know, and, and we got the Emperor's Fist. Excellent. Our new ship with, and then we also have some destroyers and then we have these ships and we'll deal with this once we get some, some blueprints and stuff. Uh, there is, you can click on this and mark obsolete, but it says right on it, it doesn't do anything. It's up to your fleets to construct stuff. So we're done with that turn. And so we're back. This is the main game is like you look at this thing. Uh, we explored some crap. Conquest of Spinier. So this, remember I said, hey, attack everyone around us. Everyone who is, every f world that is bordering us controlled by the slugs. So I did that last turn and it said, so I, I like this part too. Imperial Command is like, hey, ta attack this place called Spinnard. And it looks like we might have we might have already taken it. Uh, and then they're saying, attack this place called Abney. Uh, you know, it's telling the fleets, this Imperial fleet, or you know, we ordered the conquest of Suratia. And then this is the battle. This is where we're going in with. We have 173 ships. Because remember, we have a lot of ships. They just, they just were like missing. I don't know where the fuck they were. Uh, we did this attack and so now we're fighting nine of their ships and they have like 48 dudes on the ground and we only have 18 dudes on the ground. So we got, we, we got to get more guys there. And then it says like this one, this attack on here, there wasn't enough of them. So they called up all these other people. And so they, they, they pulled in all these other people for the fleet. And I actually really like that, that this is like a process. Cause once again, I'm thinking like I'm imagining we're it's like, there's all this bureaucracy and shit. Like the emperor goes, fuck all those slugs. And then like Joe Schmo runs that message over to, you know, like some antiquated looking computer where they like, and then that prints out something, you know, and then they put it in a tube and they get sucked through like in the movie Brazil. And then some guy gets and he's like, oh, give this to commander so-and-so. And then he runs over, you know, and it's like this whole process. And then the commanders are like, attack. And then these guys are like, I don't have enough troops, man. And he's like, we got to get more. And like, it's this whole process. And so I really like that. This part, I really like. Uh, the combat is extremely boring, though. Uh, and so then he, he went in there. Uh, we commenced an attack. We ordered a conquest, blah, blah, blah. And then this guy... He's like, hey, let's. You ordered the attack in Amb Ambina, but there's like no troops left. And I like that too. Like, there's just not enough troops. And so he's just going to try to do that every turn. And it, we don't get to pick that because we, we picked, you know, attack everyone. We could have just said attack Ambia and there wouldn't be enough troops. But I said attack everybody. So this is the same with this one. These two fleet guys tried to do their attack and they couldn't do it. This is the third fleet guy tried to do it. And remember we put up that, like the, the thing with the fleets, like this is probably like in the Southwest or something. And these are the three fleets that can fight in the Southwest. And they're like, Hey man, we don't have enough troops because or enough ships because you sent them off some other place. Uh, and they are trying to attack us in Terra. I don't know why it says this. It says this pretty regularly, but it doesn't actually mean anything. Uh, and then we have taken full control in Spinrad. So our troops landed and took this right off the bat. It's a frontier world. Uh, then we have a space battle here, which we already kind of looked at. And then this is the report. We killed 63 slug ships and then we lost 35. 
And so now we actually have, we've taken this. And remember once I said, once again, I said, hey, if you let them, if you let the slugs take it, they build the outpost immediately, which I think is a flaw in the game, but whatever. Uh, so we, so for this outpost, we have seven more turns, but we now have this one because we took it from the slugs. There's 39 million slugs here. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna put a defense order on this because this is our second planet and we need it. <laughs> um, and then I'm also gonna click this button. This is encourage colonization. If you have an outpost, you can colonize a place. If you don't click encourage, the the computer is gonna send it send you know leave it up to the computer to decide where to send the colony ships that you have we only have one colony ship though and i wanted to micromanage that because it lets me and so we're micromanaging that the colony ship needs this to go here and go back to well we already looked through all this stuff it's all done and that is our turn we just end our turn and we go to the next we have 300 points i think we can swap somebody out of our ministry here and that was holy shit that was an hour see like you can tell that I, I, I hope you can tell that I like this game. Um, I wouldn't be like getting so excited and animated about parts of it. And then at other times getting so excited, like, what the fuck is it like this? All right, I'm going to take a quick break and I will be back in less than um, five minutes. I was about to say, do I need to pause it? That's turn base. Of course not. All right, be right back. All right, I'm back. Let me turn off the break timer. Let me check to make sure I'm actually streaming. Looks like it. All right, so there was one other thing I, I meant to do that I forgot about. Uh, because we have this now, we can we can claim this one as a um, outpost. And we could declare war on these, but we have, we have other 
Let's see, we're only attacking Alb Albina. Really? Yeah, let's tell them. No, let, we'll let we'll let the. So that, since we only have one claim there, the computer will all, will you know that fight where they couldn't do it. And one of the other things I wanted to say is like, why is this over here? Can I move this? Why isn't this in the center of the screen? I mean, I guess it's fine because you want to be able to see your map or whatever. But one of the things that I I wish. Where is one of those battles? I guess Planet One. It. I wish there was a graphic here or something. It doesn't. It doesn't. You know, like that showed your troops taking the planet, and maybe some dying slugs. Like I. It's fine that it shows the planet, but it, it's like, I don't know. It just. It's. It's so bland. You know, because you're there's like a ton of battles in this game. You're like pretty much constantly at war, but it, it's so like there's just so bl like I don't know. Like the whole thing is very bland. It, it's in <laughs> after I said I like the game. <laughs> um, I, I just wish that like there was more to it. Anyways, that's the end of our turn, and I, I we're gonna go we're gonna try to get to here because we're 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 doing that. And we got a colony ship on the way. We're gonna enter turn. I may have forgot something. I want to wait until this is actually has four hundred. We're gonna go back to here because we're gonna we use this. This is like your main the main game is just looking at these this list. All right, we're twelve percent complete. Going to spin, spin rid, and uh, maybe we have two colony ships. I don't know how many two colony ships. I thought we only got six percent a turn. All right, unable to conquer. Currently held by slugs, but not forces. So this is the same thing. He, we, they're moving forces around and shit. Uh, same thing. Same thing. That's it. That's the whole turn. Uh, one more turn, and we'll we'll fire that fucking minister. The arachnids wake up. So the arachnids wake up once every once in a while, and then they go run around and attack everyone. Let's check out our events. We did our exploring, which we gets two. It's up to eighteen. Okay, so we it was it is only six percent a turn. Uh, the arachnids wake up. These guys have finally commenced their attack, and they have. We can look right here that we're gonna fucking crush the the slug scum. The slug scum must die. And we killed 33 of their ships and we lost 17. The cat has come into the room and it's going to start meowing. All right, so that would be the end of my turn, except that I want to fire one of these guys in my court. Let's look at my ministries again. Yeah, I really think it's this guy who's got to go. I would like to reduce the corruption. I guess I could swap these two. Well, he's getting a 15. Um, Courtiers is giving us a bonus. It'd be nice to know what this guy would be, but we're gonna we're gonna well we're not gonna fire this guy. We're gonna swap him out with something really good. He's a purple guy. This guy sucks. Yeah, we don't give a shit about purple. Uh, we got this guy's got a 25. He's blue. That would put another blue guy in power, huh? Do we got anybody else? He's a yellow guy. Or no, he's is that orange house? Richvich. That's this color. Um, we could do that. He seems like he's the best guy. Besides this blue, this blue dude. Tim Schultz. Schultz. So if we click on him, I think we got to go to here. Yeah. And then this is another thing that I, you can't see the, the ministers. So you got to go like, which guy was I replacing? The foreign affairs guy? Yeah, we're going to do the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And it's going to cost me uh, 300 points because I'm fi we're firing some guy to replace. We're replacing a guy. So I think that that's fine. And it also costs that one thing. The These things. But I actually got a bunch of those. So now we go back to our ministers. We can see he's there and he's got the 95. But he's actually in a bad spot. We don't want him there. Uh, we just want to get that one guy the fuck out of there. Let's swap him. This brings down our rebellion. So this should have been updated. It, it was updated. but So we should bring... We should probably put this guy here. Um, I didn't look what his traits was. From a rich family, so his, cal his salary is less. And characters work together with other characters of the same personality of... 
knowing it. Well, this guy has it, but he's pointless. Um, I think it cost me 50 to switch. Transfer to another ministry. Yeah, it cost me 50 and one. So we'll only have 50 left, but at the end of our turn, we'll have 90, unless this has changed. Yeah, we actually are getting more. Um, internal affairs reduces the rebellion. Yeah, let's actually swap him with the internal affairs guy. I, the other one, the other guy would be possibly, because the, the diplomats is not that important right now. Reduce the corruption. I think corruption is what's, if we look at here, it's going to be corruption. That is, yeah, we're 18%. So that's really hurting our our economy. Um, I see you, kitty. I see you coming, kitty. I always got to click on everything. Uh, let's switch to... Let's switch. Let's let's make sure we, we're not going to have a rebel issue. I think... Then we'll cost it. Next time we get 400, we'll get rid of this corruption guy. Uh, let's swap him. Wait. Yes, yeah, swap this guy to the Minister of Internal Affairs. And it's going to cost me 1 and 50. And then back. And now we have two guys, two yellow guys in there. Huh? Three. No, he's a. Oh, wait. Is he also a pistol guy? Meaning his his thing is a pistol? No. Okay. For a second there, I was a little like, what? And I think we already did this shit, right? We did. We're only on turn seven. Uh, let's end the turn. And we go back to here. And we're 24%. We're crushing the slugs in Amina. And that's the end of that that thing. So let's do this again, where we we go to the slugs, and where let's all of the frontier world. So now we're gonna go after all three of these. I don't know what happened with Noma. Didn't we attack there last time? No, that was my other game. Blork is my favorite name planet in this game that I've seen so far. Blork sounds like a an enemy planet, you know. Uh, how are we doing over here? We're at seventy. Let's end our turn. There's nothing else we can do. And this stayed open as it, or no, wrong thing. Uh, we did some exploration. We had 30%. Blork is on the way. Norma, we actually went straight in and Norma, we must have had some troops over here. We're crushing them. Chelti, Cheltai or whatever. Wishk. And they don't have enough forces for Blork. And Flight 2 is going in. They've requested. They've got enough forces. They're going in. I, I, I like. Uh, we have. We are winning. Well, I guess it's not necessarily winning. In Abnia, we actually have won. Abnia is an okay planet, actually. Um, we can test. We can actually test something here. I, the number of colony ships. Let's see which one it colonizes next time. If it, col it keeps colonizing the spinner and this doesn't get colonized, then we know that there's one. And if this one gets colonized and this one doesn't, we know there's just one. It's something I, I wish that, you know. Uh, so this has 400, 4.8 billion slugs. We're going to have to do some extermination and see. This is where the biohazard habitability, habitat, or habitability of the planet goes down because it was a slug fest for a while. And what was the final thing? We, we killed 21 of their ships. And we, we can check our, our thing here, squadrons. And we're still at a shortage. We're pumping out 28. We have that, that other thing going. Let me check this again. Once again, like this is a lot of this is um, a lot of the game is in here. Yeah, so they just call it continue to colonize just this. So, yeah, we only have one colony ship. I'm going to turn this off. Because I want to make sure that Spinnard keeps getting the colony. Um, and they're thinking about attacking Blork and Wish and Cheetah. And they tried to attack Spinnard. Oh, I, I like to put a defense thing here. And we got to go back to this. At least it remembers where you are. 
No Norma, Noma, we have gone to battle with them. We've slaughtered them. Uh, they're trying to take us in Albia and Sarita. It always says that, like I said, but it doesn't. Oh, wait, Sarita's ours. We should put a defense button on there. And we can actually take the defense button off of here because there's no way for them to get to us without... I guess they could go through here. We could put a defense button there. I like to have all of my borders have a defense thing going. So we're already expanding like mad. The slugs aren't very good fighters, or so it seems. In my other game, I was like very worried about them, and then I just started slaughtering the slugs. What are those guys from Starship Troopers? They're, they're just bugs. They're just bugs. Uh, we need to get some more fucking food going, man. We're at 63%. We need to have... When is this going to pop off? Oh, we got it in eternity. Uh, in turn. Now we look at this again. Outpost established. Planets here. Okay. So from here, we can, uh, we can claim this one. We can just keep expanding. And can we put a defense order? We can. Actually, we don't know. I don't want a defense order there. If the slugs take it, we can retake it faster. And they will have built the outpost. Uh, we're at 42%. Uh, plan to launch an attack on Blork. We can't do it yet. Wish we can't do it yet. Cheetah. We're going into Cheetah. Noma, we've, we're crushing them. And you can, I'm, what I'm looking at is this, like this is how many ships versus, you know, the slug ships and then this is how many ground forces, but we're going to be dropping more ground forces. The thing we really care about is the ships and we killed 26 to 22 in turn. You might notice that we're just like stacking money and stuff. That's part of this, this part of this game that I thought was, is kind of, kind of weird. Uh, we can't get into Blork yet. We can't get in a wish yet. We've taken cult full control of Noma. Let's throw a defense order on there. And let's hold off on on more attack orders until we've gotten into wish and blork. Because we're like, you know, we're holding that's holding shit up. This is a pretty good planet. This is how many ore and food they pro they have. And then this is how many cities. Or have a have a have a utility have a and this is your com range, which we'll deal with that later. There's a there's a button we can look at. Right now, we're every everything's too close, so it doesn't matter. The com range doesn't matter. Um, did we get through all of these? No. Uh, we are attacking Cheetah as we should, and eleven eleven. So this is the game. This is it. This is the whole thing. <laughs> so another thing that I think that it's really missing out on is making your your court in the enemy houses have, or the whatever, the other houses have personality. They don't really have a personality. And because they only interact with you when there's audiences, there's not going to be like pop-ups or anything unless there's an audience. Um, and it's weird to me. All right, we're not ready for Wish yet either. Cheetah, we're still we're still beaten up. Did I? What one did we just take? We got Wish. We got Blork. Cheetah, we're fighting for. We're trying to take that. We're trying to take that with you know just setting up an outpost. Um, and it would be nice if like. You know, it always takes a certain amount of time for outposts. Like, it's, I think it's 10, and sometimes it's 5, depending on how far out it is. It would be nice if, like, it, it mattered more about your production. You know what I mean? Like, if you had a certain amount, it's using some of your production to do that. So, it might take longer or take less time if you had poured a bunch of money into production. Uh, when we get to 20, no, wait, is it 10,000? We could do one. Of, we could do this. That would increase our food processing efficiency, which would help happiness. See, we're already at 27%. Man, that's just flying up.
we're bringing in 800 let's wait a couple more turns when do we get our next audience two turns let's let's wait till after the audience and then we'll do it uh what i was looking for yeah we don't have a defense on here oh that's the colony um this is the or the outpost i mean i thought we just took a place maybe I already did it maybe no Cheetah, we haven't taken their ground forces. They have slugs and, or even their space forces. I think we already did this shit. We did. In the turn, stop digging around. Uh, 60 percent. Uh, we're finally attacking Blork. What wishes we're waiting for? Blork, we've done some damage. Cheetah, they're they're see this number's gone up now because we're attacking, we're getting more troops landed there. That's the end of that. And then we get our next turn and we finished our research. So that should help. Yeah, see our, this one up. So we have, we probably should do this armor. Frigates and destroyers plus armor and our cruisers and battleships get plus two. Yeah, let's add this to the queue. It's, it's only 500, you know, that's I'm picking the 500 stuff first. The main thing we wanted was the food thing, which is which is helping already, and which should slow down. How much? How many are we getting? Eleven a turn. Yeah. So see, like our our loyalty is not helping. If we look right here, it says that the they're opposing rebels negative three percent per noble house. That's so not enough. Uh, we put the guy in charge though, right? Didn't I put him in the internal? Yeah. Hmm, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that because that's going up fast. I don't know at what point. I don't think it's a hundred percent. A hundred percent seems like a lot. Does it say? These are the powers. They will say, putting loyal people in key positions in the empire will help subdue rebellion. Uh, preparation also good relations with noble houses are prevention of rebellions. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, did we look at this shit? We did not. We just did the... Uh, we got a couple of explorations, colonizations at 66. We got our audience. So, let's see what we got going here. Uh, this is just an event from the Palace Guard. Uh, during a routine inspection or vigilant in imperial inspection of the building found a hidden chamber. Let us find out what is going on with the hidden chamber, just like Dune. You know, a little floating thing. The archaeologists. Our archaeologists found something that looks sort of like a broken alien artifact while exploring ancient ruins. Uh, analyze it. Study it. So we can get a, a, some additional points for some money. I don't want to be dead broke when we buy that, that food thing. So I guess we'll just study it. It's not that much of a bonus. What do you got, internal affair guy? Uh, our brave agents have found dissident organi organization. Negative 100 rebels and 150. So that we need to do like this every time. Find the, or we can get some cash. But we're going to send 200. We got extra of those points, even though I was going to spend those on, on uh, <laughs> once again, it doesn't, doesn't take that off of there. Um, I was going to spend that on uh, getting rid of that other shitty minister. The staff of the military academy. All right. So this they're saying like, hey, do you want to have a chance of improving some competency or some charisma? I forget what the charisma does in this game. It might not even matter. We'll spend the three grand. I know I was saying I didn't have any money, but we're going to do it anyways. Uh, we'd like an extension of our privilege of our traditional privileges. Can your majesty approve it? This is the purple guy. He doesn't like us very much, but and he has two grudges, and he's relatively weak. Prepare the papers. They we get a favor. They like us more, and the, but they get one authority. He has a twenty authority, so he's a shitbag. He also has a bunch of grudges, though. Maybe he should be our dump dump guy. 
Uh, he, he, we can bribe him. Or we can just pay him. Once again, we don't know how much money we've spent because fuck the player, right? Or we could take some internal money. It's so we pay we spent 200 of this already. I'm pretty sure. I mean, we could also just make him he's got such low authority. We would get a favor. Yeah, I mean, we might as well. We'll be dead broke with these things, but we're getting, we're getting what? Oh, our stability went up a bunch. Uh, we're getting 54 a turn. And it would be nice if the, the amount that you're getting per turn was next to it. So you didn't have to hover over all the time. When this, when this gets up a couple more turns, we're going to be able to pass a law and we're going to pass a law about colonization. I, I think we should actually just be nice to this guy. I mean, he would get a little bit more authority. He would like us better, and we'd have a... Yeah, let's just do it. Our spy master. We found an inter interesting trace of some secrets of Hass Gerson. With additional funds, we can pursue the trail. I think we're going to secretly... These are the yellow guys. Didn't we just do something nice for them? I don't know. Well, we can take the one secret. Once again, I don't really know what the secrets are for. And once again, it doesn't update. Uh, it's Adrian Haywire, your nephew. Yeah, so like it says this guy's my nephew, but it never says that anywhere if we look at hit my noble house. And that, that matters. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, does it matter? It does matter because, oh, here's my, here's my Fife thing. House is state level. Anyways, because what happens if I die? You know, I know this is my wife, but like who are these people? You want to know who these people are. They're, you can't just have some random fuckstick who's Adrian and Sonya. You need to put some personality in here. Like, th is this my son? Is this my... Are these my kids? Like, it totally is, changes the game if you put some personality in here. Um, and all they do is they give you these points. So he's giving us negative points, so he sucks. Uh, like, and I can't even, like, kill him or anything. And I think the Emperor should be able to get, get people killed. Anyways, what the fuck were we doing? We're back to our audience. All right, so he, some alien scum has tricked me into buying worthless wares and now I have a debt to cover. So I've, I've seen this a million times. We can give him a, so that's gonna give him a plus one to that, which would be a zero. Or, you know, I got a ton of these things. I don't know how I got so many. I mean, I took that perk. Maybe that was it. Yeah. Drag that fucker in. That alien scum doesn't take care of my nephew. Doesn't take advantage of my nephew. Oh, the wrong thing selected down there. And there was something else. Oh, we want, We need to end the turn to see what fuck we have left over here. A cheetah we took, though. So we can throw a defensive thing on here. And we can also start claiming all this shit. And that will start the outpost growth. Yeah, we've broken out from the the slug scum. When Wish goes down. Did we take Blork? We haven't taken Blork. Uh, let's end our turn here. All right, so now we can see what what money we have left. That was pretty. That was pretty rough. But I think what we should do is we should build. Oh, I don't have enough of these. All right. Well, we'll wait one turn. What I was thinking is we should. Oh, we can do legislation too. So yes, legislation is stashed in some weird spot. Laws. And the Mining Act, each increases bureaucracy, reach the stars. These are in a different order. All right, we get an additional colony ship. So remember earlier, I was like, it doesn't tell you how many you have. Uh, this will give us one more, and we get a, a discount for stuff. So we'll do that. We're definitely going to want that. We're going to go back to our home planet here. And we are going to... 
decide who we want to colonize. This one's not. It's okay. It's okay. That one brings in more food. Blork? Oh, we took Blork this turn. Blork's pretty good. What is this? Oh, it's got a rare, rare material too. It's toxic. Blork's pretty good, but it's also pretty far. Well, I guess it's only two steps. Uh, where are we call we're colonizing Spinward, Spinrad, Spinrad's pretty good. I would like to colonize places that are right next to me. This just brings in food. Like one step away would be the. We could bring in Blork after that. Blork's pretty good. Uh, Quinion there though is a straight attack. What? What? We should attack. We should claim that shit. I know we're just going. I didn't even. Let's look at this before we do that. Uh, maybe there's something. Nurgle. Uh, we're at seventy-two percent. We did the law. They're attacking. Wi or they're thinking about attacking Wish. We took control of Blork. Uh, and we killed seven and they killed five. So Blork's pretty good. The problem is, is we can't make it a core world and making it a core world like gives it to one of the houses and makes it a fiefdom, a fiefdom. So it's very important to make it a core world, but it has to be adjacent to another core world. So I think we want to start, I mean, we could do this first. Yeah, you know what, let's, cause this is a good world. This is a really good world. Let's encourage this, and then when when Spinrid's done, Spinrad. Oh wait, no, it will be. Okay. Yeah, great. That's what we want to do. Uh, we don't have enough points or money or anything, so we're gonna end our turn here. Now we have points and money. Well, let's check this shit out first. Uh, we got two explorations. That one's colonizing. That one's at six percent. We have uh, order the conquer conquering of Quanna, and we can't do wish yet for some reason. I don't know why. Would you guys get your wish shit together, man? And that's the end of that. Uh, let's go back to here. I was thinking about something while I was doing that. Blork needs to have a defense on him. You do too. We're using like all of our ships up for defense. This one, it does, it's adjacent to unknown shit. That's what I, I don't like, I don't like having them. Um, I don't know what the defense really does. I think, yeah, I think it just has like sh uh, ships hanging out there. And so I want that, I want the ships to hang out there, even if it slows down our expansion. Uh, we're gonna go into these two spots soon, wait. Why is this spot? Why is oh, it's a different type of world. Um, eventually, we'll do another order to attack everywhere we can possibly see. But right now, we want to just like build up for a little bit. And you can, like I said, you can build stuff here, but it's we don't have the money and whatnot. So let's do this. We wanted to build up this because we don't have enough food still. Oh, see, we're down to twenty five percent because of that. We're still at 67%, so let's throw this whole thing in. That's going to make us pretty broke, but I think it's going to be worth it. I'd rather have food all the way, you know, I'd rather have 100% coverage because that's going to slow down the rebel rebellions, I think. And that's, I we, we don't have the money to, to switch, to get, switch out that minister after all. We had to spin it on our audience. Uh, we're gonna get we're 21 turns from the great from the great council oh i was about to skip this turn uh 84 12. and we have started to attack wish and we have gone into quana and blork says that there's enemy forces but it all it always says that i don't know why it says that without and if you look at blork it doesn't show any enemy forces so i don't know why it says that uh, Quanra, we're crushing. Wish, we're crushing. And Albia, it says that trying to take over thing. I don't know. That's the end of that turn. See how fast these fucking turns are, even for my slow ass. All right, we got some research done. And, uh, so we're going to get a little bit more money and we're going to get a little bit more city output. So once again, this is a 500. I think I'd rather, like this one's pretty good, but I think I'd rather go for, wow, these are like significantly better. 
Um, maybe I won't go for that then. Both of these are better. I was going to say, I was just going to go for this 500 one because it's so much cheaper. But these are really... Bure bureaucracy upkeep is like a thing. I don't remember where it shows that. But it's like a thing that's basically fucking... Remember that story I told about the tubes and all that shit? That cuts down on that. And that's a constant problem in this game. Like, you want to keep, keep that down. We also would get better taxes. I think I'm going to... Like, both these are pretty good. Oh, okay. So these are for the industrial buildings where I just built one of these. This would add... You would have a maximum of three... I mean, that's so fucking far off. We don't give a shit about that. Uh, where was that? Right here. But this one's pretty good. Let's do that one first, and then we'll do the city services, which will give us an improved city, city output. Uh, that was our, like our first thing. Exploration, exploration, 90%, 18%. Harusu. Uh, was that a... Was that a I think that might have been an outpost that we were trying to do. And we're going after Nimbia or something. We're sending 72. You know what we could do? Uh, Blork is being attacked supposedly, so is Noma. Uh, we're crushing those guys. We're crushing those guys. We're crushing those guys. Uh, we killed 60 to 50. I want that. So I was thinking maybe we should turn down that overwhelming force that I had on here. I had whatever it was, 400%. Maybe we should turn that down. You know what? No, it's fine. How are we doing? We still have a shortage of ships. Like a pretty bad shortage of ships. Um... In my other two games, I had the other two games where I like actually played a little bit. I actually started out with like squadrons and storage and stuff. Look at these things; these are old and junky. Anyway, we've lost seventy-three of them. Oh, and four seventy-three in combat. Four. We got rid of four of them because they're old. They're ba they're basically obsolete. I don't think we can do this yet. When we can do the blueprint thing, I'll show that to you. The blueprint thing is another thing that's kind of a weird disappointment, I guess. Did we finish this shit? Yeah, we did. All right. Like I said, you spend so much time looking at these alerts that, I mean, I guess you wouldn't have to, but I, that's how I keep track. I, my memory sucks. We have attacked Nibia, and we took Quanra. And we're fighting over Wish and Nibia. And we have liberated Horsia. Horsu. Liberated, huh? And so here's here's where we, we gonna change we can, we're gonna change this. We're gonna put a defense here, but this one's safe now. So we're gonna turn that defense off. When I say safe, it's not it's not you know, uh, against either an outpost or, a, or whatever. We're going to wait until these fights end, and then we'll do another attack, another, you know, order of attack everyone. It's not everyone. It's just the slugs. Just fight the slugs to the death. Back to this thing. Oh, we already did that. All right. We're still bringing in 800 bucks and 500 bucks. You can't convert this to this, though, and I wish you could. All right, what do we got? We got Spinner has been colonized by the... So we finally have a colony. A colony that's actually also in a safe spot. Well, it's not that safe. The governor... Aiden Roberts. Well, let's finish this and then we'll do the colony thing. Man, time flies when you're playing this game. Uh, we're at 30%. We took control of Wish. We're taking Nibia. Let's go look at Wish. Where was Wish? Well, let's start at Spinner. So it's going to cost us 20, 20 whatever those triangle, the red triangles are, to make this a core planet. Core planets was considered a fiefdom. And it will be signed to a noble house, so that that you know gives us 
that gives them stuff. They get up, people get upset though if we lose a core world. The thing is, it's gonna, a core world's better than a not core world. So we're gonna make this a core world. And that was given to the blue guy because he's he was next in line, I guess. I noticed that it just kind of goes down this line. I don't know how it's how it gets this order. I thought it, originally I thought it was by authority. It might just be randomly generated at the beginning. Well, he's a duke, count, baron. Okay, so it's by title. So that is he's the most he's a duke, so he gets that. Um, I think that gives him some authority too, or something. I don't know, but he's got it. And there's a governor. And we'll give out the next one next. You know, we can still build stuff. I don't want to build any. We don't have the cash and stuff for that. But now we have a core world that is going to be growing. You know, and it, it's bringing in these these items also to our industry. So we're at 85% and we're 186 of 500. So we, we need a lot of help down here. But we I want to make sure our, our food is the best it can get. See, these people are getting happy now. And that should slow down this. I think it works that way. No, we're still getting plus 12. Happiness isn't part of it. From planets, rebel support. From stability, from... Oh, I think our stability goes up with happiness. No, monarchism. So we will want to make more people monarchies, monarchists. Yeah, I don't know. And my other one, I was able to slow this down to a crawl. And all I did was I just put, I just made everyone happy with food. I'm not quite sure how that works, but we can do it. Maybe, maybe it was the noble houses we're putting in more. Because we have a really shitty, we have a real shit pile there. Uh, from luxuries, from taxes... There's another thing we can research, too, that will help with that. We might have a rebellion happen, but we'll see. Uh, did we look at these things? We did. We have 240 of these. It would be nice to, you know, when we get 400, we'll do that that thing there. Uh, in turn. Hey, we got another research thing. Energy theory is done. What does it even give you? It's nothing. Grants nothing. You get shit. Uh, light, what does this do? Shields and tractor beams, whatever those are. Shields and a light assault holes. Uh, I guess, yeah, let's go for the light assault holes. We'll keep some. That was energy. Yeah, let's keep that at one. Oh, electronics needs a thing queued up as well. So we got electronic holes. So we got the prototype there. Thinking machines. Yeah, I think these come in in, in a random order. Because I had like computers and thinking machines on my other ones. And these are all ship stuff. So let's pick one of these 500 ones, I guess. I guess we don't have any many choices there. And let's go to our ships as well. Because we actually have the ability to pick a new ship type to start prototyping. So we, we, now you can like look at what these all are. This is like an electronics, support electronics, and support electronics. If you click on this, you can promote to a prototype, and then it starts. They start working on the prototype for this ship, um, and then they'll work this ship into the squadrons. So we can build all of these, and these are like kind of shitty older ships. Or we can put in like one of these guys. We can start the the. Um, the prototype process so this is just a, like scanners only this has some missiles and scanners oh this one has uh missiles and scanners a raptor from like a, whatchamacallit battlestar galactica we're just putting all of the books and we're just shaking it all up but this one has a uh, missiles and scanners decoys weak point analysis tactical net like i think i rather because we only have one i think how many, how many, uh, yeah, we only have one blueprint. And then this space mouse just has scanners. I think let's put the Raptor in. Let's start the Raptor going. It's a frigate. It is the same. Huh. 
except for the missiles, you know, this thing has some better, like, tactical net and weakness things, but we can... I don't know what scanners do. Let's put this in. So there's a lot of stuff that I don't know what it do, what it does, and I don't think it matters. It's another, you know, imagine if you said that about, like, Europa Universe Valis 4, EU 4. If you're like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how half this shit does, but I just play it and it works fine. That seems to be how this works here. Is even though I don't know what a lot of this stuff does, I am able to play it and not really worry about this stuff that I don't know what it does. And that's kind of a detriment to the game. Uh, we got some exploration. Hey, Blork? Yeah, we were we were doing Blork. And then Noma was what I don't think I picked that. I think it. Yeah, I didn't. It thinks Noma is the best option, huh? It's pretty good, honestly. So yeah, we'll pick that. And then we'll go back to... We took control of Nibia. And we killed one and one. So they're like falling back like mad. Let's put a defense order on this. I feel like these two don't need defense orders. Defense orders makes them make them have more ships hang out there. And I don't want... I don't want too many ships being held up for defense and I feel like we're kind of safe over here like they they keep a couple of ships around but where that that makes the defense order makes them have more like spinner has 30 ships oh we took this place too this place needs a defense order this place is a hot miserable ship box but we took it and we're not giving up so this one also does not need a defense order anymore so we can take that off wish we took this as well let's put a defense order there because it's gonna get hit this one doesn't need a defense order maybe i'm overthinking the defense order thing but i like to put it you know did we take all of the spots that we were trying to we did i think the war is over we can all rest and go home uh that's not true we're gonna do this thing again let's get him going all frontier planets and I could pick, but I, I'm just being lazy. And I'm the emperor, so I'm allowed to be lazy. Once again, we're only attacking the people that... The, the slugs. And we haven't had any interaction with the aliens because it's our diplomats are so shitty. And, you know, it, it says... Where does it say... Oh, I'm looking at myself. It says... Now we're on the arachnids. Yeah, the relationships up here. The Cowl Confederacy. Yeah, like like a lot of this stuff is. And we're working on these other things, but like I said, our 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 diplomats and shit are fucking are terrible. Every our whole fucking ministry is terrible. I guess he's a thirteen. <laughs> that seems terrible to me. How long until we get to our thing? 17 turns? Wonder if I can do 17 turns before my break with how slow I am. All right, in turn. In turn. We went up to 27% rebels. Uh, Blork's at 42. Noma is at 12. Wait, did we finish the colonization of another one? Because if we did, I don't think we did. We just got this one. So I think it's the how you can tell is if it has the blue. See how this one's filled in. The eagle is filled in. No, I guess Blork was the second one, and then Noma was the third third one. Got a long ways to wait. Uh, we have started attacking Chronovo. We are saying hey. We want to attack that place. We want to attack that place. We haven't started attacking Simos. Uh, Vukol has been ordered to attack Netan. Menakark. Redis. We're going to town on everything. Simos is getting troops. Currently held by the slugs. Uh, we already saw that. We're just planning some stuff. We are killing those guys. We are killing those guys. You know what we could do? I forgot about this last time. There's a way to... Oh, it's 10,000. Wow. 
Are we still getting 50 a turn? We are. Uh, let's... We need 350 to fire that guy. This guy, the corruption guy. Will be the next guy that we're going to fire. I mean, we could have, I guess, switched this guy. He's got, like, a bunch of stuff, though. I wish I could. Can I switch him? No. I was going to say, can I switch him to... Because he's got, like, a bunch of... We could switch him to here. That would cost 50. Because he's, he's, his things are okay, honestly. Because he reduces bureaucratic... In, uh, he's, he's competent, but, well, that's that's just... Uh, we need to fire him, though. This is the... These guys. Those guys are in the union with me. All right, so let's look at my court. Who would we replace them with? We don't want to put another blue guy in there. Because the blue guys... Already are very powerful. <laughs> Sarah Ramsey's, though, really good. So this is what I'm talking about, where it's kind of confused. Like, I'm, I'm like, oh, Tim Schultz will add him up there. But he's actually already a guy. He just doesn't have that much uh, influence, rank, or position. We put him as a minister, you know. Honestly, this guy is the best. Easy going and cheerful. Gives a plus two to what? It'll give it a plus two to competency, too, because they're easygoing and cheerful is the main. We got three people that are like that. We're going to fire. See, see what I'm talking about? Like, it's just it's hard to pick, like to plan your strategy if you're having to, like, switch back and forth. And then you gotta like look for where these guys are. So maybe just get rid of this whole fucking paint panel and put it up here. The court up here and then have the other people below it. Or sorry, the ministers up here and just have the other people below it. I, I think I'm gonna put in Sarah Ramsey. And we'll replace, yeah, we'll put in Sarah Ramsey, appoint his minister. Uh, which one was I gonna do though? Justice, it costs five and 300. That's fine. We're just going to do it. And now if we go to our ministries, see corruption is down and we get a 95 five for events. Eventually we got to get rid of this guy too. What does it cost just to fire him? 200. Maybe we'll just fire him next. Just because he sucks so bad. You know, and we only, we do have two people, two uh, blue in here but it's not that bad we got two of these guys oh the other thing you can look at is like okay so blue desires a minis ministerial position and we just gave him one and we also have him set to be an ally i don't know if that will ever happen you know like you can look on here and just see what what they want i don't know if it does anything like i don't know how it works uh did we do that before we we did our stuff here i guess we did blork we started planning attacks. And you can also just click here and you don't have to go through them all. Uh, we're going in there. We're going in there. We've killed 43 of those. How, how are we doing here? I don't think we're going to catch up. And that's kind of a worry of mine. Because if we're slowly getting whittled away, the, the fucking slug fuckers... They have 188. No, that's the hive. The slugs have 108. But if we run into the hive, we got to fight the hive too. Right now, we're just getting to expand though. All right, research construction is done. So we got the cheap and the, the thrusters and the greats. Uh, we can get some command, more, some, more fighting things. Light assaults. It's all ships. So let's do, let's do this. 
The other thing that we haven't even looked at here is, uh, let's say this one, you get these modernization points and you can start, you can do these, install these perks on the ships. And I noticed it said a bunch of stuff about data links. You know, so these will, these will, or perks that you get in there installed on that ship, like, and then, you know, that will be an improvement. But they, once they're gone, I mean, eventually they'll be obsolete. I, I haven't messed with that very much. Uh, we already did this, right? Yeah, everything's good to go. Ruins, if you have ruins on planets, they give you a bonus to your research. And 60, 30, uh, we have activated ship hull plans. So we, you have a espionage that's always going on in the background. So the Thal Republic, we have done enough to find out about their ship hull plans. That's why I go through all of these instead of just picking through them. I just go through them all. And you know, as time goes by, you know, we can see that we're we're not gonna we're not doing those attacks, but we are doing these attacks, and we have won those battles. That's the end of that turn. Um, oh, it's been I was see I was hoping I could get to that that one thing by the end of um, before my break. Uh, we're at sixty thirty, and then we got the audience. I'm gonna take a break, and then we'll do this audience. See, we got some aliens that want to talk to us too, and you can actually interact with the aliens and say, "Hey, come here." Let's talk. Um, I actually have like a ton of these this turn because of that perk I, or this game because of that perk I took and I'm not sure if that's a good perk. My, I would probably try to take another one of these. Oh no, our, our income has shot up. It was like an 800. Anyways, I'm gonna take a quick break. I will be back in less than five minutes. Oh yeah, I gotta throw a lasagna in too. Maybe I won't do that just yet, but I gotta put it, I'm gonna, I have a frozen lasagna I'm gonna eat, but I'll be right back.
you know what I just thought of when I was out there having a smoke? Um, you know what would greatly improve this game for me is if this, when you clicked all, it popped up in the middle and you can click don't ever show me this thing again and you can kind of whittle down the things you didn't want and so some turns it wouldn't show anything because you don't care about certain stuff and you can just blast or make your turns really fast because <laughs> I like to look through everything obviously an audience would be important um okay we found the cul culprit of this the hidden chamber they waited seven years to tell me this or whatever uh, they didn't tell me the next turn. They waited seven years. So then that's going to lower their authority. Gain plus three favor with them, and their opinion goes way up. Their authority is pretty high, isn't it? Yeah, they got a 42. That's like the highest. Once again, it doesn't tell you the information, so I got to go over to this other button. It's the it's the great council I want to look at. I want to compare them. Yeah, he's he's got a lot of authority. He's got more authority than me. So let's let's knock his authority down. Negative five. Yeah, fuck you guys. Uh, independent silence scientist, totally mad, I must add, has invented a secret laboratory of substance with mystery properties. Uh, we can take some some funds or we can get bioscience. 300 bioscience, that's pretty good. Okay, so this is another thing that made me laugh. Uh, someone tried to assassinate it. They waited until the audience of seven years to fucking tell me that someone tried to kill me. <laughs> okay, so our bureaucratic upkeep's gonna go way up, and then we're gonna have a, all courtiers are gonna have a loyalty test, which I've I've never seen what happens with that. I've I've gotten this many many times, and it I, it doesn't doesn't tell me anything. Like it, I, you never get a. a I've never gotten a report that shows me that this, you know. Oh, that would that would be nice. Internal affairs, who's that? I think I moved somebody. Yeah, he's good now. Damn, dude. I guess there's an audience button there. That's one faster way to get there. I'm going to do all the courtiers, do a loyalty test and we'll we'll rearrange them, but I I don't I don't think that works like I don't know uh, let's throw some money at the officers training I would like their competency to go up you know the other thing I was thinking about that when, uh, there should be experience these guys get experience points through doing their jobs and stuff uh, so let's put the 3,000 to this and we got the whole Republic would like to have some things happen once again this is the thing where you got to check the whole Republic who are these guys you know we're making 56 bucks off them. Uh, we can do cultural similarities, political connections, or merchant connections. And the way you can actually figure out what those are, you don't, you can go to any of these guys, but let's go to the Thal Republic and you can just go to this. This is the thing that we got to. So we can have uh, Charisma if Imperial Diplomats is plus 25%. Political Connections would be plus 10%. So we would get a better relationship with those guys. Or we can have a trade value plus 20%. The, the issue is that we have so... I'm waving at the... I'm pointing at my monitor. Um, <laughs> and so remember we got ship holes. So if we have to fight them, then we're going to have a plus 20% chance to kill them. Uh, we don't want to fight them right now. We don't want to fight any of these guys. So let's actually go with political connections. And that's what the guy recommended anyways. Uh, let's let's do this. Well, what does the Nurgs give us? The Nurgles. Uh, where are you? Uh, you don't have any trade. I would do trade if they had trade, but we don't got shit. Uh, political connections. Yep, let's make it. like for, Oh, we only got two of them. All right, I thought we had more. Uh, we think your voice is not loud enough, the Empire. Therefore, we file an official request to grant us, think, our voice. I would do it, but no. Uh, this is the purple guys. We already have some grudges against them. That's ridiculous, denied. 
we could really smack that guy around. He's pretty fucking weak already. He's already got so many grudges, we could just have him the dump guy. I think I said that earlier, but I guess there's no point to do... There's no, like, you don't get less of a... Like, this would just be out of spite or something. There's no reason to... I guess if this guy was, like, you know, up here... This guy's friendly, though. Um, just denied. Our spy master, it's same shit every time. We'll pay, we'll pay. We don't have the cash right now for anything more than my kid or whoever this person is. Uh, they, a young lady from our court. Okay, so this is good. This allows you to arrange a um, political or uh, marriage so you can create another union. I think it might get rid of one union though. I'm not sure what happened to my union. Oh shit, did my union go away? All right, well, yeah, and it gives you two, two options, which is weird to me because none of the other ones do that. Or we can tell them to go fuck off. Uh, I'm going to do this one. If it is you who asked, then of course, my love. Is that my wife? Oh, it's my wife. Yes, let's, let's do that. So now we can actually... We've been kind of like trying to like, well, let's end our turn. Is that the end of it? No, we had more shit we had to do. 60, 36. We got the audience already. New squadron has entered production. Uh, we got to do some attacks once we can. Like, I would say don't ever show me this again. Like, just show me the shit where we're going in. Uh, we took full control of this place. Kronov. Huh. And... We took full control of Kismos. You know what I was thinking while I was out there smoking? Let's turn off all these defense things and let's see what happens. Because that way it would be less things for me to micromanage. And then we also, let's let's not do encourage the... I hear some defense things. I'm curious if I can speed up my turns even faster. Let's also let the the thing do its own colonization and see what it does. That'll be kind of interesting to see. Because I think the, the key to this game is to move your turns really fast. And I, you know, I'm so slow. <laughs> and then we'll just, you know, like when Blork gets colonized, that's the one thing we care about because we don't want to turn it into a core world. Uh, we ended our turn because I wanted to see. We almost have enough to fire another guy. We don't have as much money as I would like. I guess that's a real life thing. That's a thing with anything. Uh, so we can actually go to here. We can't like marry. Oh, I guess we can. We do it here. It seems like that's a waste to do it on someone who is already friendly with us. So let's go back to the Great Council and see who, like, these two are good. What about this yellow guy? He's neutral. And these mean that though you can force him to vote with you for you, I believe. Um... Let's go, let's go see. This guy has, we have one secret, no grudges. Let's try to marry into this, this house. I guess that our union failed or ended, but this guy's still cordon, cordonal. But this guy's got a lot of power. Let's marry into house Rich Levy. Yeah, we got the money and the stuff to do it. So let's do it. And then we'll see how that works next turn. Did I already look at this shit? I did not. Okay, we finished whatever. We're going to do this one. We're going to do that one. And... Seventy-two, forty-two. 42. In my turn... Now, let's go back to, I want to see. 
Uh, so that didn't make us a that did, it made him cordial, quarter quarter cordial, cordial. Man, this side just they hate us. It wasn't a union though, huh? Maybe I married the wrong person. 78, 48. We are attacking somewhere. We're attacking somewhere. We're planning some attacks. We're planning some attacks. We have, we're attacking somewhere. Same place. We killed 35. Uh, let's do one more turn and then we can. Colonizing. They're heading, setting up this attacks. They're trying to take over somewhere. Space battle. Bunch of space battles. We killed 66 and they, or 69 they killed. Wow. That is, that's a lot of ships. I do want to save up enough to have that actually. Well, we're still, we're still at like 1300. We could have a lot more. We just got a new squadron, so they're going to start producing new ship, new types of ships. And our prototype is still going to be going very slowly. It's at 40, 40 of 100. Oh, we were going to fire somebody from our... Um, I guess it's the diplomats guy. He is from this guy where we just made the union. He's a 13, huh? But yeah, so like maybe this adjusted, like this guy's down farther. Was he down? I think he was a second line guy. Maybe this adjusted like that loyalty thing adjusted some of these people, but it's like, I can't remember that shit. You gotta tell me. Um, you gotta tell me what's what's going on here. So competency, you know, increases that. And like some of these people just straight up suck. Like these, these people, eight, seven. Like what does it take just to get you out of here? Three and 50? And I mean, we can, we can bounce them around, persuade it. Let's, let's. No, let's replace the guy, and then we'll, we'll next turn, we'll start firing these people who suck. She's fucking loyal, though. I don't care. She sucks. Um, who's, like, who's, like, the worst loyalty? Look at this guy. He's, he's an equal. He's a suck across the board. He's charismatic, but he's not loyal, and he's not competent. That's who we're going to fire. Diego Gomez, I'm sorry, dude. And you're also reckless. But anyways, let's get let's replace Gavin King here with somebody. This guy's an advisor. He's actually pretty good and he's got the easygoing and cheerful thing. Oh wait, Gavin King isn't the guy. Once again, I did it again. It's Aiden Baker. Yeah, if they just had that up there and just made this a little bigger. Maybe it's for the different screen sizes. Uh, here he is. Oh, he's also corrupt. So let's replace him. Can we replace him? <clears throat> It's weird the other button lets you fire somebody. So when you have a normal guy, like if let's say I wanted to do her, it would let me fire the person. But the advisor won't and I can't switch him over. Where's my other advisor, Colin? Uh, I guess we'd be losing an advisor, but that advisor is pretty I mean, he would be the, he's the, well, no, Tim Schultz is already hired. I'd rather have the advisor who's a green guy. That's me. 
Um, I'd rather have the advisor over there. So I guess I got to fire this person first. I got 300. I got 300, so I should be able to do it. Where is this fucking idiot? This corrupt piece of shit. Oh, that isn't even the guy I wanted to fire. It was this guy. Oh, no, he is the corrupt piece of shit. All right, let's fire him for 200. That will turn his loyalty down, but of course. Okay, you're fired. Whoops. Then if we go back to you. Can I do it now? I want him. So how do I unadvisor that guy? Demote him. And then a point. That was it. This is expensive. Oh, uh. Okay. Let's hope I did the right person. Lucia, you're in there. Now, what about, like, I have one advisor. How do I get more advisors? Yeah. Good job. I mean, we probably should swap. I got 100 points left. Let's swap you to the war ministry. That was kind of expensive. No, I mean, I guess that's the only way we can do it. The di having less diplomats is like, who gives a shit? Uh, we only got 50 points left. I think that was everything we needed to do, right? Oh, we didn't check this? Or did I go all the way around? I think I already checked this stuff. Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, we got another planet. And once again, I'm going to let it call I'm going to let them colonize on their own. The core world part I'm going to do because I don't think it will it will do that on its own. I mean, the the number of casualties is going up. I don't want to declare another, you know, attack all the people around me thing. Uh, this so it's this one in Blork that are being Blork's almost done and we can core world that one. It's now safe. Uh, when I say safe, I mean it's not in the. Hey, the Arachnians have gone. Ninety-six. One more turn. Uh, we almost have those. Oh, you know what we also probably need to build is like a battle station soon or something. Or not a battle station. Uh, yeah, a battle station. So you can build these things on your so you on your planets that it increase the like the. How much do they cost? Uh, well, Spinward would be the only one. Yeah, so that's the problem is it's right there. Uh, you can So they cost 5,000 and then community. So these can give you bonuses and you want to build them as you expand. Uh, we already checked this shit, right? Yep. Another fast turn. All right, Blork has been colonized, so we want to we want to make it a core world for forty, and that's going went to the next person on the list, the count. So it's Duke, the count, and then these barons will get it. Baron Harkonnen, and then it's up to him. You know, oh wow, this has got a fifty-seven development point five seven development level, but it also has titanium, which is a rare resource, which like increases stuff. This is still going up like mad, man. We're going to get a, a revolution happening. So anyways, I think this goes up. This number goes up on its own. Like, I think as time passes. See, like, we got a three here. Where was that other planet that we... Oh, it was Spinward. 1.38. I think it goes up. Because, you know, we don't, we don't have... We just took this place. We don't have, like, look here. We only have, like, seven of 14 cities, etc., etc., we still have like biohazards for 38 years that type of shit you know uh we're not gonna well, i'm gonna let the computer decide what to colonize next unable to conquer and 
And we're taking those places. <laughs> I do want to fight. I want to kind of stock up on this, though. How many turns? Audience in six. So after the next audience, I think we'll, we'll fire some people. We'll get them out of the goddamn um, thing. We should be pretty close to five turns from now. We're going to have the great, the great thing, which should. I got two guys voting for me. We're at a 40. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be close or not. We can favor this guy. He doesn't like us very much, but we can we can click that. Okay, so that's down here. <laughs> I guess I should have done the math. But whatever. 78% in Norma. So it's it's doing Vrunic. Which is right next to us, so I guess we'll do that. Well, that's fine. Uh, you know what? We could... Well, let's finish this. This should be pretty quick. Uh, we've taken full control of Ion and Neton. And how are we doing? Yeah, so now we got food coverage across. The, we're got 118% food coverage because we got those other planets and stuff. So when we get... After the audience, I think we should probably upgrade this because we need to get some mining output. Our min my minerals are low, but we got some other planets and shit coming in. And we should have, wait, five turns? I th no, I was just bad memory there. Two turns was something else. <clears throat> uh, oh, we got an outpost established. So I do also wish that you could just say, hey, claim all of the 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 places that are not that are adjacent, you know, like I just claim that one. This one we got, you know, it's got minerals and stuff. I wish you could just push a button, mass orders, claim everything instead of cancel all general retreat orders. That's the only one. You know what I mean? Like, I wish there was a way to just say, hey, claim all these instead of me having to go through them manually and looking like, hey, who's our neighbor? The same way we're, we're doing our attacks. We have one attack left, it looks like. No, we have three attacks left. Four attacks left. Let's hope some of these start spinning up here. 84. Oh, it changed which planet it's doing. All right, let's see how often it does that, because if it does that all the time, we're going to have to set it. Uh, we have enough enough legislation to chat, pass a law, so let's look at what laws we have here. Food processing, we're already great with food. Uh, special ops, rebel suppression efficiency during... So I have a fear that we're going to get rebelled against. So... Tax efficiency would be nice. What are we bringing in? A thousand? I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what happens. At what point? Is it really when it gets to 5,000 that the the rebels kill us? Because if, if that's the case, it's not that big of a deal. Um, the other thing you can do, and I haven't even done, I haven't even clicked on this, is you can expand their office. And it costs money, but it, it increases the effectiveness of the guys that are, that are uh, of your ministries. And that's what it's talking about with this law. 20% cost of expansion. Mineral refining efficiency. I mean, we could do that. We need the minerals for the ships. This would give us some tax efficiency. Unlocks reforms. This is another one that I, I... What the fuck does that mean? Let's just do it. Let's do it and find out what it means. The fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> it 
So I kept skipping that one because it didn't say what it what it was. No, it will take several turns. It will dramatically reduce the legislation point generation. It's recommended to gather as much support for the reform before initiating as po as possible to lower the time of the reform implementation. What does it do? <clears throat> Bureaucracy is calculated as if Empire was half the size. Characters removed from ministerial, uh, ministerial positions will no longer have their loyalty reduced. Unlock Project College of Civil Servant. Okay, so and these are the people who are voting for it? Oh, 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 okay. I get, I get what how it works. So you, the things at the top are the reforms. What is this little thing? Popular support for reforms. But these are these are the people who are for it. Okay. So how do I? I'm gonna click this. Oh God! Is that what I wanted to do? <laughs> All right. I guess that that's an important thing to get. I didn't know that that like I like I said it doesn't it didn't tell me what that was what reforms were. And this is going to slow down our legislation process, so that's a bummer. But it looks like that was a good reform, you know, if we can get it to pass and it looked like those people and it said something like maybe other people will uh you can try to get them to support it. I wonder how I do that. Let's interact with this guy. Well, he was already supporting it. Let's interact with like this guy. He may have been, but and like click on you. Oh yeah, you can like have him come over and it kind of re uh, increases their opinion of you. We could do that. We can investigate him, but I don't see anything about a reform. We do have, well, we're down to eight. You get seven of these, eight each audience. So every, you know, we could, we could spend some money doing that. We got a little bit of money. We're still only bringing in 800 or 500. All right. Maybe there's something I'm supposed to be able to fix to make this this not happen. But I noticed they get on with it on their own. So I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to end my turn there. Uh, 90. It's back to Abina. Or maybe it wasn't back there. I don't know. Didn't it do one of these before? Uh, we got some radiation or er, radiation uh, some espionage level see like they got there they got there like maybe I'm supposed to do something on their fleets and say like do this or change these things or something I don't know you can change also like are they on the attack or they are they on balance I just leave them at balance these guys are pretty shot up like I said I think they should look at this fucking dude Man, I just want to fire this fucking guy. Oh, but he's not my house house guy. So once again, if they had some person, I think they need some personality. Because I don't ever know who any of these people are. Oh, did we already look at this? Why was I looking at that? Oh, because I was curious if, if what did what uh, in turn. <clears throat> Uh, let's do this this turn to I guess I don't need to look at this stuff all the time but I it it worries me I'm gonna miss something uh, let's go get that piece of shit out of my our court this guy oh my god his loyalty I think went down What, who is he, who does he work for? Purple? Eh. Bye bye sucker. And I think he gets replaced. I mean, look, he's awful. Purple's got six guys on the court. Is that what that means? No, he, no, it doesn't. This is their court influence. 
Oh, so it's going to go down because I... Oh, he's giving less... Stability? A bunch of these guys are giving less stability. Is it because the guy sucks so bad? That's a rhetorical question I'm asking myself. I, I keep meaning to stop asking questions because people think I... I'm asking them the questions, and I'm just kind of talking to myself. That's how I play video games. I just sit there and ask myself a question. I got to stop doing that, though, because then people will get upset about it. Um, when I'm like, I know, I'm just fucking talking to myself. Uh, like, this stuff, it's hard to tell what's important at this point. And that's kind of like what I was saying earlier. Like, we're really, like, burning through the ships, but is it is it... I don't know like these these if you could have these and see like say don't ever show me this again you would it's the never quite cry wolf thing you're looking at so many of these I guess like I said you could you could click on this or battle but it's hard like it's hard to tell like there needs to be a better way and you can look looking at the map like this is kind of like a mess um, there's a black hole in the middle and like we're actually not even we're expanding out in this direction which we probably should try to expand in this direction but that's okay we're gonna let the computer do a lot of this stuff i had some other thing i wanted to do but let's just continue oh we got twenty-two thousand. that's what i was gonna do i was, I was gonna increase my industry for ten thousand. when's the next the next turn is the audience though so let's check these things real quick kind of blast through this stuff uh, Noma has been colonized. Noma, where are you? Okay, well that's nice, but I can't turn him into a core world because he's not adjacent. So, maybe it's not that nice. Al Albina? We'll see, I'm curious who they'll do next. Let's end our turn. And now we have the Grand Council, Council, but let's do this first. Loyalty checks, laser absorption, or let's do the loyalty checks so we don't have so many ship bags in our in our group in our court. Uh, so probably. I mean, that's a better spot, but we need to get this one. So I'm going to change this colonization. And we want this one to be encouraged. Uh, because I want this one, not burn a neck or whatever. And they did like one colonization. Because we have those two ships. Uh, where were we at? Council. So this is the voting thing. And this is actually like kind of a disappointment. <laughs> uh, so... I was quite shocked in this that you couldn't you don't get to vote me as the player I don't get to vote it automatically votes for you and even though these are all the same like of course you're gonna vote for the tax approval and of course you're gonna go and vote for this but it's still I should get to vote <laughs> you know I'm the fucking emperor uh, the only thing you can do on this and this is actually another thing that I think is weird with this game is that you can actually select these, but they're grayed out. I think he needs to have like an in-between, like black or, you know, gray for not not being able to do anything, not be able to do it. And then, you know, so what this would do is it would we'd make a, a, a speech and that people would come over. Uh, what is this? This is passing. New reforms have to be supported by all noble houses to be initiated. It cannot pass any new laws till next great council this is going to pass so it's already vote you know it's already voted for me because it, you know you would want that but like if these these bills had more options like think of ck3 is it ck3 i don't know it's one of those games where you um you vote in the things there's like a variety of things you get to pick i think that this is a really a missed opportunity here Anyway, so it looks like both. So these are these are glowing because these are bad, I guess. And last one, I just got them all. 
in my other games. I've only played two games where we got this far. I'm the only one voting for that. Everyone's against me. But what about that? I what about noble houses? Can I or wait, can I go to my court? My ministries? Oh right, I can't go to the no the Great Council because this is the Great Council. So I can't use those things. I used one of them, but I can't use like the other ones. Like I had another person who had one and maybe I don't know who they were. Uh, my my favors. Uh, so I can do no speech. I can do a speech that costs me three. Super motivational. I have enough of those to do it. Let's do it and see what happens. <laughs> um, wait, if I click on this, oh, I can click on this and see. <laughs> It's also hard to tell. <laughs> I'm voting against these. So that we don't want that one. But why is this red then? Okay, so th that red and whatever doesn't matter. Whatever I said earlier doesn't fucking matter. This one, though, we wanted to pass and we can't make it pass. Okay, so the, we want to do the superior speech. All right, so what does this do? Each amendment grants plus one. Oh, that's this stuff. So that's central centralization. This bill is going to be declined. Okay, so we that's not it. That's not unexpected. Maybe the other way with this thing is have the emperor all on one side and, sh you know, like so show that he wants this to be a no and this to be a yes instead of switching the emperor's side. Like, there's a lot of weird shit in this. It looks like we have to do the superior speech to get what I wanted. And, like, look, these ones just go, this goes great. All right, so what do we do? Well, that's it. We're done with that. Then we have a council. We had that. Let's do our. Oh, are we not done with it? Oh, I clicked cancel. Oh. Were we not done with it? I mean, I just picked the speech thing. I guess it... I, I never had to pick anything before. Hey, Mr. Langobard, how's it going? All right, so here's our audience. This is FED. Those, these are the people who have the shares and stuff. And once again, like I've seen this event a bunch of times. Uh, so basically, what he's gonna he's offering us to add more shares to the to the thing to our thing here. And so like we have 800 shares, and the split of 800 shares gets us whatever, you know. And this person gets 700 shares, so they're gonna get, you know, like it's slightly less than us, and that's what it's talking about here. Um, if we go back to our audience. And then audience. So what he's saying was we can just do no new shares. Or we can shares by fiefdom. So we'll get 200. The, the next person will get, you know, 170 and 150. But remember, we only made, I think we only made two. We can look. I think we only made two or one core worlds. And that's the fives he's talking about. I think we only made two. Uh, yeah, Blork. <laughs> I love that name. Oh, see, this went up. This has been going up. Blork and Spin Words. So, I believe that's what it's, you know, by fiefdom. We can probably look, actually. Let's see. Does one of these say... Not that. I guess I can't look at the house thing while this is, like, the other thing. But let's look in here. Does this have... Oh, hey, they got more people.
I don't know if it where it shows. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I think this is. So this would be this guy should have no. Oh no, it's the red guy. Yeah, he got one. Yeah, so that that is like the planets that we've given him. Um. So, anyways, this guy's like saying, "Hey, do you want to split this?" So we could, you know, we could help ourselves. We would give her. So we're always going to give her. Well, not always. We can help ourselves. We can do it by crown authority. Which. So we can do it by fifes. Which is going to help those people. This would help that guy more. But also like kind of spread it around. The purple guy gets kind of fucked. He already does. He doesn't like us in the first place. This orange guy gets kind of fucked too, and he likes us. This is like kind of not fair. We're gonna get, be getting more fiefs there. Fiefs? Uh, we can just take some shares, and everyone will hate our guts. Or we can take some shares back. I think we should just do the standard. Red doesn't like us very much, but it's not the end of the world. That guy is friendly. I mean, and he's powerful. So let's just, let's, let's go with it. I mean, we get the most, so. So we'll get more money every turn to our, to this thing. Uh, this is our foreign affairs guy. Oh, this thing again. See, we got this before. Didn't one of these reduce rebellions? Yeah. Like, I, I just want to keep... I'm very worried about the rebellion thing. I guess maybe I shouldn't be. Oh, wow. 200. Yeah. 200. Uh, so once again, we're back to these things again. Didn't we already do a... No, I guess we didn't do anything with those. But I didn't look at what, how he felt about me. Like, it's such a bummer that all this information isn't on the screen. We'll just do, we'll do political co uh, connections to everyone who's new. And the reason why these guys took longer is because the... We could, we could go and tell them to come. But they, it took longer because their diplomats suck. <clears throat> All right, so this is we, this is the same event. So once again, he needs to add like 200 more events. 500 more events would really be the key thing, because we, we're we we're in turn 39 and we're already seeing repeat events multiple times. All right, so we could bring down yellow or orange and red, orange or red here. Uh, let's bring down red. He was going to probably be our dump guy. And we gain one favor with orange. There we go. We're cruising on our yacht. Like, didn't we already get this one too? Uh, who is this guy? He's the... Oh, wait. These colors are very similar to me. I think I just I put on the wrong guy. This is house windward. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is a different guy. Well, you know, I think we can look. Oh, I think I put it on the wrong guy. <laughs> no, maybe. Yeah, I, I think I did. These are the oops. Oops. <laughs> I need to get glasses. Uh, So we can. How many? We got 400 of those. We can br we can extort money from him. We can get him, him a chance to like us or like the monarchy better. I think we should do one of these. Probably we don't need to extort the money. Let's fifty percent chance on the monarchism because that that does seem to have a pretty big effect. And then we're back to this trade secret thing that we happen happens every time. Uh, let's let's go double. This is which one is this house armor star? And once again, you gotta do the math. You gotta keep the math in your brain the whole time. Like I can't do that. I can't do that. 
Uh, we got a new ship production in. We should see. I wonder what they're like. Uh, we're attacking those places. We're attacking. We're attacking. We're going to win. Uh, the, the slugs are pretty much a pushover. The hive, I can't remember. I fought the hive a little bit, and they also seem kind of like a pushover. Who are these guys? Vix Collective. What was I going to do? Wasn't I making... Yeah, Military Alliance. We are 13%. Look at this guy. Can, for the love of God, can we do something about this shitty diplomat? I don't know if you can. Maybe you can. It's He's awful, though. See, now we should bring in... We should be getting some more... Oh, we don't get it till next turn. I wonder if there's like a place that I can click and I just don't know where it is. Courtiers, officers. We have 18 planets? Huh. Yeah, maybe there's any of the help thing. The help thing's pretty bad too. And I actually saw the developer on Steam talking about, people were saying you gotta have a tutorial for this game. And he was just like going, oh, I don't know how to make one. <laughs> I was like, are you serious, dude? He's like, I can't think of a way to do it now. These people are giving examples and shit. And he was like, oh, just watch, why don't you guys just watch a video? Um, it definitely, I don't know about a tutorial, but this is pretty bad too. It's just like, it's, it's bad. And it's not really the community's responsibility. The people who like the game to make, to make the shit. <laughs> Aliens, what the fuck was I going to look at? I wanted to see how to get rid of uh, diplomats because that guy sucks. Characters, commoners, effects of governors, effects of officers. A search thing would be nice in here. Yeah, I don't, I don't even want to look through this. Um... Okay, what were we doing? We were done with this shit, right? Yeah. I have so many of these points. Should we fire somebody real quick? I gotta put that lasagna in and then... then <laughs> I want to fire this person. Do we have somebody we can replace them with? When is our next thing? 12 turns? This is the time to do it if we're gonna do it. Uh... Maybe a different sort button up here would also help. We need... Okay, so like we fired that guy, that one guy, and he was replaced by whom? Like, I, I would like to know that too. Like, who took this spot? And is that helping us with this stuff? Because like, it should help with our competency. Like, this person's so terrible, but they're so loyal. This person's terrible, but loyal. Is this the lowest person? She works for me. I mean, I'm just going to fire. Oh, we can't do it this turn. All right. Oh, I guess that's a good thing because we needed to wait to see. Uh, we got two, uh, 2,400 or 24,000 cash. Uh, banquets will be organized during the next audience. Head, heads of all noble houses will attend, which will give you an opportunity to talk to them. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I guess. Review. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is the thing with the diplomats. Fucking diplomats, man. I could have sworn I, I knew there was a way to, like, I knew there had to be a way to influ or find out about those guys. How are my governors? I don't think my governors are bad. I only got, like, two of them. Uh, why do I have so many governors? I only have two planets. Now, I guess I guess there are some other... No, I, only, I have two core planets. You can't get a rundown of your diplomats, huh? Well, that should be added too. Uh, anyways, what were we going to do? It was this thing. 
Let's just review the diplomats. And then they will... They will... The next audience, which I guess I should have done that right before. It was this like little green spot right here. Nurgle. Did I not look at this stuff? No, I didn't. 36. Wait, did it jump to a different one? Or did we finish that one? Oh, that's the one I told it to, to go to. Sarita, yeah. Let's see. We've got those. Those are all done. I got 200 points. I was just going to clean some, some house out of here with these ministers. But maybe I'll, I'll wait and then we can get rid of this person. And then we can swap them into there. You know, I should have swapped out this person originally. No, that one guy was like corrupt and shit. So it doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to take a break in like one sec. The, after this turn, I'm going to take a break. And, I, and I'm going to uh, throw in that lasagna. And it takes 65 minutes to cook so i might as well just play another hour um we got some espionage we're doing all this stuff okay one more turn and then how are we doing on these wars what is this why are these ones marked like that is that something we explored Looks like we have two wars left. We probably, after this, we can start heating it up again. Did I end my turn? Or did I, are we looking at the same shit again? Okay. Sociology research is done. City services would be good. What do we got here? Those are dumb. And... I'm beginning to think that I may have allergies. <laughs> I I never thought I did, but people were describing it. And like my eyes are get itchy every once in a blue moon. Like t today and yesterday at evening, I was just like, man, why are my eyes so tired? And this happens every once in a while. And it like rained today and it was like different, different weather than normal. And I'm wondering if like, it's just something that I've had and I didn't know that it was allergies my whole life. I was just like, I don't know what that is. It just, you just get tired eyes sometimes. Uh, we got another, oh, we didn't. I thought we got another blueprint. But this thing's done. So now they're going to start building our new squadrons with that thing. And I think we can see, yeah, the Falcons. Oh, we just got Falcons. So their next squadron will come out in nine turns with the, the new ship, I hope. Well, I don't know. When I say I don't know, they might not be that they might not be that good. They're frigates, I think. We're researching a bunch of other shit though, too. Uh, okay, one one more turn. And then I'm gonna go take a break. And I am going to there we go, we got an attack in there. And that's it. Okay, one more turn. We have like so much money. So this was what was happening in my other game. It was a little earlier though. I was just like crawl. I just had so much money. I started to just build shit just for the fuck of it. <clears throat> okay, so we have these Haldric titles, which we can help influence people. Uh, we can help, and some people want these. So basically, we give them titles, and it will improve certain stats on them. And this is actually something I was curious about. So that's a perfect time for me to go take a quick break. Uh, let me put those titles up where the fuck they are. So I don't forget. I think it's here. I think it's like you just click on somebody. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we just click on We just give them the title. It doesn't cost anything. There's the titles that we have. We have five of them. Oh, we didn't get as many as I got last time. And it gives them different bonuses. So we'll, we'll deal with that in a second. I'm going to leave this up, though, so that I don't forget. Because otherwise, I'll come back after my break, and I'll be like, 
oh yeah, we were fighting fucking slugs or whatever, and I'll just totally forget. Uh, and this, remember, this is so. This is the recommended difficulty, and I feel like this is very, very easy. Like I'm just sitting around, you know, taking in money. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna put my break timer on. I'll be back in less than five minutes. All right, didn't it didn't take me as long as I thought to put in. Why the fuck am I cold? Put in the the lasagna. Um, I mean, it's just a frozen lasagna. Just put it in the fucking oven. All right, so this is the thing with these these things. When you put them on, you know, it gives you the, it increases the opinion of the house, right? But it also increases. Like, these people don't seem to ever die. Maybe they do, and I just haven't played long enough. I mean, it's been 44 years. They don't seem to age or anything. So, it seems like the benefit, you would want to put these on your own people, even though that doesn't increase their opinion of you. Because these things affect you. 
and maybe I'm totally wrong about this, but like this person has a negative two. So if I like give them, this is gonna give them like a one and a one, that's gonna get applied directly to me. You know, it does, get, it does give, you know, I'm wasting the opinion of the house on me, but at the same time, I'm getting those benefits. I'm getting the authority and I'm getting the monarchism. And so we know that's gonna go to me. You know what I mean? Like it, it's not gonna go to someone else. Uh, and these just give opinions, so we'll just save those for opinion. And these ones, it seems like I would I would give them to my own people. Uh, so this person sucks. And... I don't think they die. Like I said, I don't think they die. So let's give this person this. And let's give... See, so mine went up. Let's give this person, so this is a 4131. I'm actually not sure if monarchism goes up. I checked the authority went up. Let's, this will only give monarchism up. And I have two of these, I think. So let's give this to him. Stop it. Yeah, so that goes up as well. So that's, a, that's like improving the whole emperor, the whole empire, you know, by doing this. So I'm going to, you know, like... And I got three left. I'm going to give like those other three to other people, people outside of my family. But yeah, like throw two of them. I mean, the two best ones, the best ones and whatnot. So like this guy, some of them want those things. This guy does. He's neutral. So let's give him. Uh, this will increase his influence. No, we we just have the merchant, the the monarch. I keep calling, thinking merchantilism from like, a, um, what you call it, EU four or whatever. Uh, it's monarchism. Let's give this, and we'll it will make the the house like me more. So we got that guy, and then we have these last two. You know, so now he's a zero one. It's increased this guy's monarchism too, which you know the monarchism on everybody is important, but we don't want the the authority on everyone to go up unless they're my friend and this guy is not my friend well he is now so i got three friends all right three friends are good i guess we could spend i was thinking about saving these who like really hates me there's also like so this guy we got three grudges with that guy uh we can go in here and we can talk to his wife and we can resolve a grudge for 10 grand and it costs more every time which is really bizarre to me i think it doubles every time or something it's like it's another 10 grand each time oh and this is going to take away all of the grudges so what about this well let's wait until we have a little bit more money i want to have like a a little a little stockpile you know uh, we also can look at this now yeah so we have we're like we're making we're making see they ha they always just have such a stockpile of money i don't know what they do with it what is our income with this oh it didn't really go up at all did we already look at this shit no we, we didn't i don't think maybe we did and i yeah we we got to there and then we're doing our attacks in my turn and this is still going up it's just going up slowly and this also goes up but it's like another thing that yeah 30 it's 42 turns so it's like a long time we before you can get turns hey we have a new blueprint print available we have a new blueprint and we have electronics research translation ship you know our diplomats are so fucking terrible let's do that one uh, that's all the, the only research we have available here. Uh, did, did I start over? I guess I did. We got exploration. Okay, how many? Wow, we're all the way over there. I guess it's not that far, but it's... We should probably... Let's look here. So this goes at, so this is a radius. We might want to, oh, we haven't colonized this yet. Oh wait, I thought it was on spin word. 
spin red i mean it's kind of hard to tell exactly so like see down here what does this little button do okay that's the thing what is this list of planets that's kind of useful what are these i can just go to them i was thinking maybe i could i could click things here Uh, we have two colonized. Why does it say this one? Why can't why is it not a. Uh... What is the name of this? Oh, because this is the the Vix Collective. How did I get to that? It was here. These are front tier world okay this doesn't have any people it's just colonized but not by me i get it these are colonized by me or whatever noma i don't think i can core no that's why we're doing this one is so i can core this one and then this one even though this is on the border we are fighting these guys we are are we fighting these guys what's going on here we are it's a ground battle so we have three battles going on. It's kind of hard to tell when you're that zoomed out, but it's also at the same time. Why is this one like lit up with a blue circle? Hmm. There's 1.3 million slugs, 1 billion slugs there. All right, we're done with that. We have so many of these administrative points. I feel like I have... Uh, Need to do something with them. Uh, we got 32,000 of this as well. Maybe we should build this thing on... On Spinrad. How much does it cost? Uh, you know, you can click here and it will expand out of what... Yeah, we should do that. Spinrad, I mean, it's kind of far. That jump lane. Uh, what about our comm system? Whoops comm system you can click this and what you can do is you can click and unclick um i mean it's probably worth it we have a bunch of money And spin rad is like kind of so it says it's it's a radius it's not by the the jump things so it's different than the other so spin rad's kind of far noma we might want to put one on too when we can oh we could do it now oh, wrong wrong thing there's a hot key for that yeah, like, see, that expands out pretty good with our... Oh, right now, this one's in the yellow. I guess it's worth it just to build an abundance of... Um, abundance of star bases. Like, who cares, right? We have money. <laughs> that was a weird... <laughs> There, it did it again. <coughs> um, maybe that will help with these, like, things that are slowing us down. Okay, we've done all that shit. And... <coughs> we want to plan it. Getting there on those. Oh, right, I was going to put a defense thing on there. I don't think we should put a defense thing on there. I want to see what the, how the computer does it. Okay, so on vocal, vocal, we have taken full control. It's actually a pretty good one. We should actually, well, we can't, we can't until we, those two are done. And it looks like we do want to uh, manually pick where we're, where we're colonizing.
You see that how that just appeared? That this thing? Hmm. We're in the wrong wrong setting there. I don't know what that means. We're trying to become friends with those guys. New blueprints available. Light assault holes. More ship modernization or light recon. Um, we already got those recon. We already got that that raptor. So let's do assault holes now. And we do have more blueprints available. I don't think we want to use them though. That's another like missed opportunity with this game. I know like I've mentioned 400 of them, but yeah. So these guys are unable to conquer. Yindith. How much money were we bringing in a turn? 1,200. That's not bad. And that's that. I'm kind of worried about my squadron still. We're bringing in 35. Industry. Oh, we never did the industry. There we go. That will help with that. That's instantaneous. We have another three turns till we get to there. And I guess that's it. I keep thinking that there's like more to do and procrastinating, I guess. And man, I, in real life, I've been procrastinating so bad. I literally was like, I got to stop tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, I got to stop procrastinating. <laughs> I wasn't even setting that up for like a joke about it. I literally said that today. All right, Yenith, we're going in. We're taking Yenith. And we probably, is Yenith the last one we have an attack order on? We do, it is the last one. So let's do this thing up with the slugs again. Yeah, let's go after their, after their frontier. Uh, how many planets do they have left? 91, and we've gone up to 21, and we started it as one. So that's that seems pretty effective to me. Uh, we still got plenty of money. We could try to... I don't want to do that because it costs. But there is... We don't want to do that. I thought there was one other option that just cut oh we could do these oh but it doesn't just cost money this is why i picked this we burned through those pretty fast i thought we were getting yeah we get eight each each time Seasonal, the cost of this action increases each time it's used at the new season the counter is reset. So every seven turns. Maybe each turn isn't a year. For some reason, I thought I read some somewhere in one of the things that said, like, next year we'll do it, which was the next turn. But maybe every seven turns is a year. Maybe every audience. I don't know. I don't want to summon the guy, and I want to kind of keep... Well, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's just blast through some turns here. There, we're, we made it to turn 50, which means that we should have that one thing should be finished being built, actually. Uh, 96, 66, Imperial, yeah, yeah, get the wars going. Get the Imperial battles going. We're going to have so many of these. Uh, yep, get those squadrons rolling. Get the wars. I mean, it's our, it's one war. Get the battles. We killed 57 to 48. I don't know how many. I wish you could know, figure out how many they have. Like just a guesstimation. Like are these slugs like. Are we beating them so badly because they're fighting another front somewhere or something? I think we just. Yeah, we're done with that shit. Wait, we didn't finish our industrialization? I guess we we did it on one on turn one. All right, we're gonna an audience. Al Albina is we're gonna core this fucker right there. Look at her. That gives this this 
Baron now has a little bit more more power. Look at that. Like, we have loyalty and security. Man, we are really not keeping that. I was able to, like, whittle that away, like I said. My other one. But now we got this guy going. Who would we want to... So this is this one. Remember, we got to manually do this shit. Um, this one is going... We'll then core this one once we get this one, and we'll core both those. Wish, how are you looking? You're okay. I'm bringing more food. How is our food? 165, we're great food. We have food, so much food. All right, let's go out from here. So Blork is a core. Albina is a core. Wish. Because we're going to have these ones core. So probably it's... Well, that one's already been started. Probably one of these two should be the next. This one's better better for colonization. So let's... And it's already started. So then we'll, we'll core that one. And then we can keep expanding out. We just want it like a, a circle of core worlds. And 72, industrial complex is done. So we should have, yeah, we're bringing in some more cash. Let's go to projects. We will start this one. It takes 50 turns though. And we'll do that the other thing last all right an investigator mysterious collapse in a modern mind hey this is one i haven't seen cause many casualties among miners this will this should have never happened fifty percent chance to uncover alien plot or troublesome findings i'm wondering if the events are based on how much time has passed in the game like you start unlocking new events or encountering new events we can just ignore them and it triggers a strike we can compensate them for 500 bucks which is pretty cheap troublesome findings or alien plot i think i'm gonna go with the investigate i think i like that the codc what is that the Chamber of Diplomatic Corps request, reports his quest. And how should we test our... We want their competency. Because these guys fucking suck. <laughs> Those guys are awful. Uh, our brave agents from the mystery, Ministry of Turn... Found a dis... Uh, okay. It'll cost us two so we can get... Oh, this one's funny. So we found some dissidents. We can arrest them and prosecute them. We can arrest them, prosecute them, and then arrest them again. <laughs> or we can just extort money from them. Uh, we're, so this is one of the things. Like, maybe if the game is... Like, this is the recommended difficulty. I know I said that 16 times. Uh, maybe if the game... On the higher difficulty. But I feel like I always just get to pick whatever I want. You know, I never am forced, like, I'm out of money. I better extort these guys. Uh, I'm going to do that one. Uh, the Thal Republic. The treaty is ratified. Great. So that was the thing we set, like, 51 turns ago. And... We at House Winthard think that in order to enlarge our holdings, we need to enter rivalry with a royal house. Rival of the royal house. We would lose. Oh my god, we would transfer some shares. Fuck that. Who do we want? Who is this guy? This is the guy. Wait, I'm, our house what? Winthard? Winthard we're friends with. Armister. We got two grudges with that guy. And then this guy. Oh no, we're friends with that guy too. I guess it's going to be you. All right. Armistar.
Okay, and there is a thing that we can do here to make my life easier. We can go to this thing. And we can change the name of his house. And we can call it Armister Shipbag. And then that will give me a hint that we, we don't like these guys. <laughs> that's that's just the way to, you know, I can't remember who anybody is in real life or in video games. So oh, we were still doing our audience. Uh, these are the blue guys. They are friendly and powerful. Uh, we have a small but annoying issue with the Imperial bureaucrats that refused, yes, our refused our, how, refused our house to build a toxic waste recycling plant on a distant planet. Even though it's some planet in the middle of nowhere, I don't even remember its name, with barely any cities or populations, still they insist we can't do it. Unfortunately, it's outside our jurisdiction, so let's see. We can pay 300. We already spent some of these because, once again, it doesn't keep track. We get a favor. I don't want to spend this. Just. I don't want to do it. I'm sorry. I know his opinion, but like. I thought he actually had a 42. Maybe he went down over. We've climbed up in the power, huh? Sorry, buddy. I can't. I can't bend the rules for you like that. Okay, so this person's getting married. They don't have the cash for it. This will bring a fifty percent chance. Sure, we have we have a bunch of that money, and we found an interesting trace of some secrets of House Winthard, which is who again? Winthard's my buddy, so we'll just spend... How many... We don't have any secrets. We have two favors. Uh, we will invest, invest... You know, we have enough money. Let's try to... Let's, let's have two. Let's have two. He might be my buddy right now, but... All right, these guys are on the on the roll of not being able to attack anybody, but it will happen. We have three space battles going and we got a new blueprint. So let's check our ships here. Oh, look at all these different ships we can get. Uh, carrier command, what is this thing? What does it cost to proto? Oh, we have two prototypes available. What does our le most recent squadron look like? Oh, the Emperor's Fist is a carrier command? Did I not look at... <laughs> Alright, we're still short on ships. We're never gonna have enough ships. Oh, you know the other thing we could have done is spent 10 grand on this. Which would have been very useful. I gotta remember to do that. Okay, so what do we got? Modernization, so we can modernize some of these things. Let's look at this here. Corvettes are just these little guys that we don't care about. Frigates, we got the Raptor. Destroyers, we have the Assault Hydra, the Guardian. Okay, that's the picture. That's what a cruiser looks like. In a battleship, we have the Emperor's Fist. These are the same weight and the same cost. Less crew, less hit points, more fighters, less missiles. So I don't know. It's It seems like it. So that's like a, you know, a carrier, obviously. Let's see what else we got. we have two blueprints we can do. So I think this is the battleship or something. Space Dragon. It 
It is a cruiser. So I, I don't think in this game you want to like ignore the smaller ships. Maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like from what I've just looked at, like we, we did the Raptor, so we're kind of covered with the Corvettes. Or wait, no, that's a frigate. So that's a frigate, but it's it's a scan. You know, it's got 18 scanners. We could have probably. Oh, whoa, look at this thing. The Space Fox has 48 scanners. Wow, <clears throat> I don't know what they're for. They probably do something. And we don't have any new destroyers. We do have a new, let's do this space dragon. It's kind of hard to tell which ones. This thing just has lasers. These things have fighters. Let's do the space dragon and let's do this thing and we'll let we'll let uh, the computer figure out the rest of it. It will it can make its own squadrons or whatever. Uh, we got another new blueprint. We just we just used up our blueprints. Oh, we got another new blueprint. Or another new type new ship hole. Uh, we we didn't use our modern modernization points. We probably should. Enhanced shields and improved tractor beams are just shields. Part one. Adam. Uh, before I forget about that, let's do our modern modernization. Let's do it on, can we do it on this? No, not until it's ready to go. Let's do it on the Emperor's Fist. Cause it looks like we can reset them. Uh, re resetting modernizations is free. So we can just, we got like 75 points. Like this data link, what does it do? So let's think about that. Actually, this thing, like something, there was some stuff that said like, you know, one of these, like the Raptor encrypted data link. What does that do? There was one that like said it, it said something about. Um. You know, it's weird. I feel like I'm missing like part of the, the combat thing. Like it seems, what happens if you click this? I guess I'm not. Where do I see this information in real battles though? Like, don't I have a battle? Here's a battle. Like, where do I see this information? This is at Sladron. It's weird, like it has the simula simulations, but I don't know where you would see that. Doesn't it seem like you should be able to see that? That's a real question. That's not a <laughs> rhetorical question like I was talking about before. Uh, I was gonna wait to do that, and I think this is the perfect time. Back to here, though. One of these had some, th yeah, like weak and weak point analysis shared vo vo via data link. Okay, so this is this is encrypted data. So these are things that they already have. We already have data links and stuff, so we could like put in additional missiles or whatever, additional guided missiles, bigger guns. So let's go back to the the space. The Emperor's Fist, just because, you know. Well, do our, our squadrons have that, right? Yes. Yeah, all of our newer, all of our squadrons have it. All the way back to the beginning of time. Em Emperor's Fist, and we can take it off later. So let's just do, like, bigger guns. Or we could do... Increases shields like you have 120. Let's do improved shields There we go 
and we can reset it later once we, this thing is no longer being used. And then we have those two prototypes incoming. And I think I already looked at, no, I didn't. <clears throat> 78, 18. We get all these planned attacks. We took Yin, Yin, Yinthu. Yinthu is the name of it. And maybe that will increase like, you know, that we won't, we will lose less ships. I guess we didn't put any more guns out. We just put shields. Like you gotta, re you really fly through some of this stuff. I really wonder, like, I feel like I'm missing the battle, like the battle stats. I mean, not that it's that important, but it would be kind of cool just to be able to look to see what ships are being shot up and stuff. Um, we already looked, went through some of these. We were like on the first battle, but I clicked battle, so it. Uh, we are winning all of these, you know, like it would be nice to see this. Is there a way to do it? Like, I don't know. That's also not a rhetorical question. Um, if you kn if you know, tell me. Cyber March. 90%, 30%. Like maybe the beginning is always this easy. And then it like kicks in like when the Cyber March comes or something. Uh, we are winning all of those battles. We lost some more, some more guys though. Outpost established. Oh yeah, I forgot about the outpost thing. I haven't been t doing that. Uh, we need to put some out. We need to claim some shit, man. I'm so used to everything else being automated luckily there wasn't that many the rest are the rest are all uh, alien strongholds that were attacking claimed 96 next turn we're gonna have a new colony hey we have enough enough to pass another law wow that's taking so I wonder how I get more people to, it said something I could, you know, get more people to do this. Or maybe I just wait. Like the, like it said, these ones, you know, you put this in order. Well, that one's pretty good. Yeah, but let's put this one on the top. And it said something about it would move them. Maybe more people would come in. Uh, but we got another law to go here. We can tax efficiency. How much money are we bringing in? 1500 That's not bad. How much food are we doing? 169 That's plenty. Where was this? What were we doing? Legislation. Oh, shit. I forgot to put on my timer for when my uh, <laughs> lasagna was done. I knew I was going to do that, too. Uh, it was like three hours in. Damn it. It's a very precise... Precise thing. Uh, what the fuck was I doing? Laws. I mean, I guess I could increase the... You know, when I, with all this extra money, I could be increasing the efficiency of my... Minis ministerial ministerial you know what let's do mining efficiency because we do need to get this up so that we can produce more ships and it's it's really expensive what was the thing I was oh I can do my what does that cost Ministries, like, let's say we wanted to help this guy out. What does that cost again? Okay, it's just straight money. Oh, I can pay my own money, too. Oh, wow. Okay, and it's very little of these. 
Huh. Okay, so I just need to save up some more money. I want to have about 20 grand in the bank, just in case. And we're battles are being set up or not set up we're winning there they have 31 there that's like pretty high for them some research done uh, these are basically the same just different weapons you know i could have adjusted my my research as well uh sarita has been colonized so we can finally do this we can make you a core and then we can make you a core now hey the blue guy got one again and i gave myself one <laughs> these poor barons don't get any okay you got one you have nothing Wow. He got two. I guess I have two because I have, have Terra. Wow, the poor barons get shit. That governor is only okay. Which one was the second one? I got that one. And what do we build here? Nothing special. Like, I feel like there should also be more. Whatever. It, it feels like, oh, well, what, this guy's got a lot of things. It feels like there should also, also be other things you can build with your cash, but. Okay, so if that one finished, it also said another one had finished, didn't it? No, I guess I did that a while. It was one of these, like. All right, so if we want, so we're doing this one. No, we took this one. We have that one. Wish should probably, if we're going with all the ones, Wish should probably then be the next one. It's not very great. That's two jumps away. Blork. Uh, this one would be okay if we need we it said we had low m minerals we could take this one I mean encourage the the colonization it's in a safe spot Wish just isn't that great. I mean, it's so it's better than than I mean, it's okay Let's take this mineral one You know and colonize it Uh, we're just crushing those guys. We took full control of this planet. What's it called? Just got slugs, so we, we can't... Uh... Wow, 95 turns. It, since it's got slugs, we can't... Uh, we, we don't, like, take control of it. You know, we got to colonize it. But pretty soon we'll be in that, that spot... All right, we just continue on. Can't believe I forgot to put my timer on. Actually, I totally believe that I did it, but 48, six. And we're crushing those guys. You have a lot of those points. Let's check my ministries here and my court actually and see if we need to fire anybody who sucks like this person i know i know you're on my side and everything but you have a seven for fuck's sakes i guess i could have like been spending points to try to get their competency up i mean a, a seven seems just terrible though who else do we got who's good? We don't really have anybody who's good still. So, like, this guy is very loyal. Like, let's see. What does it cost to... Oh, I have an op open slot for an advisor.
That just gives him influence, though. It doesn't give him competency. And, and banishing him actually is the... It takes these points, so I guess we gotta wait. We can't. We only can banish every once in a while, but that person with seven's gotta go. This person with eight's gotta go. I don't give a fuck how loyal you are if you're completely incompetent. You, you can't be sitting in here. I mean, we, we got problems here with it, enough with these... These things aren't getting us bonuses because we we have our base competency sucks, and we're not we're not trying to you know pick on anyone. We're just firing the people that suck. Whoever sucks gets fired. That's just how it is. <clears throat> uh, did we already do this? We did not. I don't think we were up to twelve. Nothing nothing missing though. One eighty five versus thirty nine seems like. We liberated Tycho, huh? I mean, we're just rolling through these guys like there's no tomorrow. Research in sociology. So one of those perks would have given you the first three levels, I think, automatically. Law enforcement agency. We are going to need... That one's kind of dumb, but I guess... I don't know what this is. Should we just do this dumb one to get off the... Nah, let's not do the dumb one. This one will help with... Um, unrest. So let's do that one. Then we'll do this Fed restructuring. Yeah, man. Last last time, like every every I had such better diplomats that like every time I went into the the thing, let's review. Can we review the diplomats again? Um, every time every time I went into an audience, like every all the aliens were there. Not all of them, but most of the aliens were there, and they wanted to. Uh, talk about stuff we were past like every it felt like every couple turns one alien would have some sort of thing um to say or or trade or we would we were gaining things wow that was that was a big battle there or big number of battles We got 22 thou there, 19 thou, so we should probably spend some money. Or we could wait. A, let's let's wait until we get 30 grand worth of normal. We're almost to the audience again, too. Uh, this place is, is kind of putting up a fight here. I'm surprised. They're finally starting to fight back. I mean, they even they even like did did us some real damage there, <laughs> but we're slowly growing. This is you know it does cost us money. What was our other option? Yeah, we could we could also when we have like a ton of money, but yeah, let's save up thirty grand at least. And no, we already did that. <clears throat> We still, I am still holding those two titles too, as backup. Jericho, we still haven't got into. Uh, we've crushed those guys. We're about to crush those guys. Doing that, doing that. Jericho, we've crushed those guys. Crushed those. I'm only looking at their fleets. Like I said earlier, I just look at their fleets, make sure that their fleets aren't getting to us. We're starting to really go through the, the turns fast now. Look at all this stuff. We got two aliens to talk to. All right, an investigator. That musician's back. It would it would be better if we had never started the investigation. It turns out the mine collapses due to a cardinal neglect and a member of the royal house was involved. Bribes. Uh, our authority goes down. Gain temporary modifier, corruption in high places, happiness is negative 15, covered up for 50 grand, 5 grand, temporary happiness for, th uh, well, we have, we're pretty good with the happiness. 
uh, we could blame it on the aliens, which is kind of funny. Should we just go hardcore and just start g declaring war on everyone? These aliens can go fuck themselves, right? And so far, this has been incredibly easy. Well, we only we only have like 10 minutes left before I have to take my lasagna. I hope I, that's the amount of time. And I have to call it a night. So maybe like this time we'll just, we'll keep, if I, you know, I'll probably stream the same game again. And next time we'll try to get like more hardcore into like, try to get in trouble. You know, I've been playing it safe. Uh, not this guy again. Or no, this is a different guy. Just started the job and my boss told me to go and secure a contractor. I'm out. Please, I'll give you the biggest discount imaginable and send the best musicians I can. Sign the contract. Uh, sure. That was a good deal. Uh, review. I just want the competency to go up. And so I think what that does is it kind of like clears out some of the shittier ones. I Was there one with a courtier? Wow, look at that. But we would give us a nice, a huge bonus. That's additional 60 and additional 30. I'm doing it. Uh, oh, this person wants some money. Uh, our imperial account system allows creative accounting. The creativeness of the accounting means the money. So maybe it is. Maybe it is as you go forward. Do you get no? Well, we've been getting some bad events. You get more. It opens up more events because these seem kind of new. Uh. Oh no fix it properly once again i'm having to do the math in my head and i think i'm dead broke that's the math with it with the math comes it comes to shared reconnaissance yes uh didn't we already pick this maybe this is a different guy the tall mac cultural similarities huh you don't want to do see it doesn't tell me this guy's got nine planets go fuck him go fuck him <laughs> go f <laughs> that doesn't make any sense Go fuck yourself. Uh, gain 500 bucks. All right. We can either get the 500 or do that. Let's do that. Yeah, we're going to try to save up 30 grand going into here now. Desires the throne. We can pay him off or... We can ignore him. House hates this purple guy. He's got a 20 authority. Yeah, you can you can desire the throne all you want, dude. I will put you to the sword. Not that that seems to be an option. Uh, they, they can get negative. A group of young ones from her house sprayed a uh, sprayed a graffiti on the statue of the brave, the first brave imperial colonist. A graffiti sp sprayed graffiti on the statue of the first brave imperial colonist. They didn't mean any harm; it was just an instant prank. The young ones were ordered to or were ordered to order their uh, personal servants to clean up the statue. They are personally supervising, and they'll teach them a lesson. We can reprimand them and then they would lose one. This is House Winthard. One authority. The thing is, like, if we take authority, even though they're friendly, it, it, all they're doing, like, it's better. Well, this guy is my friend. All right, we won't do that. I uh, like, I would, do, if this guy was my enemy, we could do that. But like, let's just take the favor. Wish I had set my timer. Uh, didn't we already do this? No, we just got to there. New squadron enters production. Did we get those ships done yet? No. Uh, we got some attacks going on. We've won against that space battle. We took control of, of here. But this is, yeah, we just got to colonize still. And... Oh, but you know what we can do here is we can claim this one. We can claim that one because they're not, they don't, they're neutral planets. Uh, 
Uh, we only had three? Looks to me like we should be... I mean, we've expanded pretty well. All right, how much money do we have after that, that disastrous? Wow, we're up to 30%. Did I pick the wrong thing? I, was that this one? I can't even remember. Thinking machines. Cruiser for battleship. Thinking machines, huh? Unlock science perk. What is that? Is it time we do another uh, attack? I mean, we're not getting into Jericho yet or into Ida Q. I mean, we're taking stuff, but we're not, we're not, we're not taking everything we want to take. We almost got another colony done. Okay, Jericho, we have invaded. Oh, these guys put up a uh, 34 for them is pretty good. Oh, look like they have 50 here and stuff. They're starting to like put up a little bit more resistance. Okay, Burnatch has been colonized. Let's make it. Okay, this red guy got it, huh? I guess we never give him to the... No, we have that Baron, uh, a thief. Wonder why we don't give these to the other guys. I would like to be able to pick who you give that to and too. I know that's probably like against the whole theme of the game, but think of like Crusader King 3. You pick, you know, you're giving your fiefs to the people and then like some duke gets pissed off. Think of Dune. Um. Colonize that one. So that means we have an empty colony thing too that we probably you know, let's let the computer do that, too. Let's really get in. Okay, IDQ is under attack. We've done those. We've done that. Okay. We'll wait one turn, and then next turn we'll go in heavy. Against everywhere again. Yeah, it's going for Wish. That's that's good enough. And we've defeated those things. Let's now... Well, let's wait one more turn. And then after, after that, we will uh, go in heavy here. Uh, we got some stuff on those guys. Yeah, we're going in for the ground forces. Those fleets are done. Let's now... No, those are the tall Mac. We don't want to go after those guys. I'm way off course here. We want to go to for the slugs. Yeah. So I wonder if it does the core planet thing on its own too. I've been manually doing that. Whoops. Oh no, I thought I accidentally skipped a turn. Uh, but I, I wonder if that, that does Hmm. I don't know. I'm. I don't think it does. Yeah, these guys are gonna have to get all their shit together here. We took Jericho. Uh, Idiku. And. See now it's switched to colonize that one. And it's not really the one we'd want to do because it's too far away. Yeah, I wish the colonization was a little more more accurate. All right, I think I got to go. I think I got it. Well, let's do one more turn. <laughs> I just don't want to burn my lasagna. Um, I have played for four hours. 
and I am going to stream this again, and I think I'm going to continue this game, and we will we will just like get really hardcore, like we'll just declare war on everybody, and we'll see what goes on. And I probably should have done that earlier, been much more aggressive, but I wanted you know I don't want to die, I don't want to lose the game. And it says there's a bunch of space battles, like always, but it doesn't actually mean anything. We've taken, we've taken this now. You're like, we're just expanding like mad. We're taking some casualties, though. Let's check our squadrons before I call it a night. We still have a shortage of squadrons. So we make like 50 a turn. So that's pretty good, honestly, because normally it's like we take between, you know, 10 and 30. Like we lost 50 this time, but that's pretty rare. These ones are, yeah, these ones are gone. So we've gotten rid of those guys, but we're like, what does this say? Lifetime combat losses, 153. Jesus Christ. Uh, 24. Is this the new squadron we just put out? Emperor's Fist. Oh, am I supposed to be doing this? I thought it automatically... No, it does automatically do this, I think. Oh, there's still prototypes. No, they're done. The carrier command and... We'll see next time. I wish I knew. How, when does this thing come out? Four turns. These all look the same. Like, what about my raptors? Am I supposed to do... Oh, I probably am supposed to do this part. I don't want to do this part. <laughs> yeah, like I'm probably tonnage exceeded. Yeah, I'm probably supposed to do this part. Oh no, did I just make a horrible mistake? No. Yeah, I thought it auto designed these because when you start out, you have like, I guess you have this one and then that one's, those two are there. Yeah, I should have been putting my own ships in, or my own ships, but I only can have a certain tonnage. Why only 25 tons worth? Because that changes what I picked to, to make. Like, we change that to a raptor. Yeah, that changes a lot. Maybe that's why nothing has changed, is because it's already at 25, and it's like, no, you can't. Maybe that's it. Maybe it does auto-design them. I mean, we could put a raptor. Huh. Anyways, that's it for me tonight. Thank you for joining me. I'm definitely going to stream this game. Again. Like I said, I know I talked a lot of shit about it, but I, I do like this game. And I got some other games that are similar like this. Uh, Star Dynasty is similar to this. And then another game, Alliance of something. Uh, on the in, in my brain, I threw some items on my list. Star Dynasty has been on there forever, but the, the other one. So there's like a couple of these. So obviously, you know, I blazed through four hours of this game. And like, I definitely like this game. I just, there's a lot of, I know I have a lot of criticisms. I have a lot of criticisms on everything. And I think the guy can improve it and make it better. And he's still been working on all that other thing. One of the main, my main complaint a lot of times is it's kind of lifeless and it is kind of like a spreadsheet simulator, but you don't have, it's a spreadsheet where you, it's like a shared spreadsheet where you're missing half of the spreadsheet and you're just like, where the fuck is this shit? Anyways, uh, that is it for me tonight. Thank you for joining me. Oh yeah, another weird thing. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's my other game. Um, when you exit, it doesn't save it. You have to save it first. Maybe, maybe it does. I always just save it first. It doesn't say like, yeah, it scares me when that happens. Anyways, that is it for me. Thank you for joining me. Have a good night.